There we go. That's better. Yo, what up, people? How's it doing? Welcome to Board Games with Buddy Bros. Uh, where are the butt bros? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, today we're playing Fallout, but there's one man that you need to meet who hasn't fallen out of my graces. Doc Gast. What up, sir? How you doing? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I know, right? It's the you called me a ever. man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. We're playing Fallout, the board game, um, which is a... How do I say this? Uh, tile exploration game. Uh, we've never played it before. It seems pretty simple. It's made by Fantasy Flight, so you, you kind of get the gist of all those sorts of games, right? Um, so we're, we're in the middle of setup right now, so, you know, in standard R fashion, we get to pick some characters. Um, so which one do you want to be, Doc? You can be the ghoul, the wastelander, the vault dweller, the brotherhood outcast, or the super mutant. Um... Hmm. I don't know if they. Nah, don't okay, read so anything. Think... Don't read I think anything. They start with... No, I, I don't know if there's actually any different which one you pick. I'm guessing it's just they start with something. Maybe. Um. Well, the standard rule to me is always if you don't have a specific reason on who you're going to, you know, I'm going to yeah, pick this so one you... because of this. So you, you so pick the fuck. one you're going to fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go with the ghoul. Yeah, solid, solid choice. Uh, I'll go with a super mutant. <laughs> <laughs> like we're normal. <laughs> like man, don't don't fucking uh, delete unused figures and cards and starting special decks. Okay, get the fuck out of here. All right, um, choose a scenario and delete the unused scenario sheets. Which one do you want to go? You want to go Commonwealth, Far Harbor, Capital Wasteland, or the Pit? I feel like I, I feel like Capital Wasteland is like the generic. Uh, fallout experience right you know what do you think which one where's new vegas you know like where's that i would pick new vegas hands down oh no 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 they're not you can't do new vegas they they don't acknowledge new vegas exists what why not they no, they, they will literally if you like ask todd if you mention new vegas to todd howard he just fucking walks away like he just ends the conversation and leaves why it's like the best they, one they literally do not acknowledge that it exists it's the best one. If they honestly were to just not even give them the rights to make another Fallout game, just bring the team in. Okay, have them fucking consult or something. Why did okay, but no. why? But why? Because what it happened? did better than Fallout 3 and they didn't make it and they wanted it to fail. They rushed them. They didn't give them like that that game was made in like fucking 7 months or something absurd like But it that. was awesome. Yeah, so and good. they did so much better than Fallout 3. And it's like, they just fucking hate the game because of it. The fuck? That's dumb, man. It's like the best one of the lot. Oh, man, that, that upsets me. I had no idea that was even a thing, dude. No, there's, there is some serious uh, industry rivalry between um, Bethesda and whatever it was called. I don't remember now. I thought it was Bethesda, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right. Introduction. Welcome to Vault 48, the latest in the series of public defense works in vault your contractor of choice when it comes to the best nuclear in nuclear shelters. This document is for the events of the following, world, following uh, the worldwide nuclear war. In such case, this shall walk you step by step through surviving and eventually thriving in an irradiated wasteland left outside the confines of your My vault vault. telling me no. I'm sorry, I have to sing. One second. But my body, my, my body, tell me yeah. Oh, damn. Lavander CEO resubbed for five months. War, war never changes. Damn, she's so happy about that. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you for the resub, Lavender T. Uh, we're going out to find daddy. Um, so which one do you want to pick? We can pick the Capital Wasteland and pretend it's in New Vegas. I mean, I want to say Far Harbor just because that was my favorite of the official DLCs. DLCs. All right then, Far yeah. Harbor it is. So let's do Capital Wasteland is pretty good too because we can, we can like I think they're like they're in order here. It's Capital Wasteland and then the Pit and then there's the Commonwealth and mm -hmm. Far Harbor. So I guess we could just do Capital Wasteland first. 
Huh? Yeah, sure. Plus, it didn't have all those fucking bugs in it, so... Uh, okay, cool. Place hex tiles according to the scenario sheet and delete unused tiles. Okay, uh, uh, let's, see. let's move these out of the way. Oh, here they are, here. Yeah. So... Megaton. Nope. As far harbor. Is this just all the DLC shit? Oh, wait, Project Purity. Yep, we need that. Right. Yeah, you need yes. them all. Maybe they're like upside down. Yeah. So they just, you just flip them. The bridge uh, the is the bridge. Well. No, it's mm, not. No. Towers, the other one. Haven, no. Megaton. Uh, Megaton goes in the middle. And that's. Crossroads, is it? Crossroads camp, yeah, that's it. Alright, okay. why is it. Okay, sorry, it's weird how that. For some reason, did the diagonals. He's over here, and then we get. So. We got a red. What the fuck? These are like not snapping yeah. together. That is fucking annoying. I think it's on a grid, it looks like. What the fuck? You've, you've got to rotate them to match the grid, I guess. Uh, okay, okay. Please. <laughs> that is so annoying. So that one should be that way. The, like, connecting, the connections do matter. Okay, but we can't... Wait, how did you make that happen? What kind of magic are you working there, brother? 15 degree rotations, my dude. Oh, 15. Right, okay. I, I stood at 45. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that... Oh, okay, okay yeah. That's one one here. And then Megaton is... Uh, like this, yeah? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, no, Wait, it goes no, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, there. Yep. And then it's all green stuff and after that. Green. Oh, we need far tower as well. The tower, yep. Uh, yeah, the tower goes in this corner down here. Is this it here? I don't know where the tower is. I don't see it. We missing one? Uh, just all of them? Yeah, that was it, right? That's weird. You sure? Wait, you sure it's called that? Or something else? Mm, it says the tower, and it doesn't look like any of these. Dash weird. Maybe we should try a different one. It's not like something stupid, like it's on the back of one of these, is it? <laughs> uh. God, that would be annoying if it was. You know what I think the problem is? What's that? Crossroads camp is... No, that can't be right, because Crossroads camp's in this. Because yeah. it's on the back of that as well. Mm -hmm. and... Alright, we'll pick another scenario then. Yeah. I guess. Is there uh, a problem with this? Let me. Let me. I'm gonna look up this mod because there might be a problem with it. <sighs> Workshop. All right. Fall out. Um. I think it's missing a couple. Yeah, it seems like it's missing it. We could do we could do the automated one. See how we go from there. No, is we'll it the same one though, or is that Fallout Adventures? No, it's the same one. It's the same one. Let's try that. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Sometimes you get this when you when you play these games, and it's like, maybe it's stacked with another tile. I mean, it could have been. Uh, no, I don't want to watch a YouTube URL. <laughs> Man, 
This one's got some loot, some assets for sure. Alright. So, where's the script that tells me what to do? Oh god, it's got a... Uh, I'm going to delete this Vault Boy thing. That's really annoying because it's actually just a web page there. <laughs> uh. Okay, so. Choose some... Okay, uh, okay. Don't ask this again. Cancel. Uh, number of players. Two players. Select first player. Uh, oh, are you sitting somewhere? Am I sitting I... somewhere? Is Don't there a seat know. somewhere? Change color. Oh, okay, yep. I'll be red. There's no purple. Alright, so randomize. Alright, so it goes to me. Uh, choose characters. I'm going to be the super mutant. Uh, wait. How do I choose the... Okay, I just take them. Choose scenario. Just making sure I don't pick... Okay, yep. Uh, what do we... We want to do Capital Wasteland. So. Uh, I don't know how to choose the scenario, but... Yeah, I'd push, push... <laughs> Put it back. There's yeah. a little button at the top corner here. Oh, is there choose. like a choose button on these things over here somewhere? No, that's what I was looking for, but I can't see anything like that. But these okay. have the little choose. Whoa. Hey, this one has it. Has the tower. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we could just like click explore and shit and it'll do the thing. Cool. All right. So um, the setup is complete. So let's go through this book. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a minute to load in anyway because it's on. Oh, just hit ten percent. I think it broke because so many things were added and removed while loading. It just stopped and went. You know what? I'll just wait here. Yeah, I'll just wait here. Yeah. Um. I've somehow flipped. I... Oh, is it this button? There we go. Alright. Uh, okay, so surviving... Okay, um, let's see here. I can drag this over, we can, we can take a look at it together. Hmm. Alright. Many quests encounter, these are the card library, okay. Uh huh. And components. Yep. Choose a scenario. Build yeah, a map. Yeah, that's that's why you don't shuffle the quest deck because they're actually in order and it tells mm -hmm. you to take quest thirty-two. Uh, sort tokens and create the special cap. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. So we've done all that. Mm hmm. Create encounter decks. Separate the encounter. Co I, I'm assuming that's already been done here, right? I don't know where the encounter decks are, but... Uh, oh, these are up here. Uh, yeah, looking at the notes here. All necessary decks and tokens automatically shuffle when mod is loaded. Enemy and special tokens are also shuffled during... Mm -hmm. Guessing that's those. Uh, create other decks, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Players take turns in a clockwise order. Um... Starting with the first player, after all players have taken a turn, the enemies in the map activate an attack. Uh, then new round begins in the first player. So reserving action, explore. Uh, so, fade dangerous enemies and complete quest. During your turn, you may perform up to two actions. You can perform the same action multiple times. After you complete your actions, your turn ends, and the next player takes his or her turn. You can perform the following actions. Explore, which is reveal a face-down tile. Uh, move your figure around the map. Uh, complete one of the available quests. Uh, encounter, draw, and resolve an encounter card according to your position on the map. Fight, fight, and attempt to kill enemies in your space. And camp, recover some HP, unexhaust your companions, and exchange stuff with other survivors. Uh, okay. 
All right then. Um, all right, so let's just see how this goes with this autom. I'm I'm pretty pretty hesitant when it comes to these automated things in a lot of cases because they're kind of garbage sometimes. But um, this one's yeah. Okay. I think it also kind of takes away a little bit of the charm of pretending to play a board game when it's closer to a video game. Yeah. So where do we start? I don't know where we start. That's the thing. That's a good question. Let's see if it says something. Uh, okay. Way. Welcome to the Capital Wastelands. The mounds around you shake suddenly. Fire, rubble spewing violently in the sky. Eyes wide, you you watch as a fleet of vertebrates scrambles. Verti birds, I guess. Um, Verti birds. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're the helicopter things. Oh right, yeah, the ones with those weird, yeah. Uh, scrambles from its peak to clear the violent blast. The straggler of the group begins to emit a trail of smoke as the rest disappear over the eastern horizon, then ar then abruptly drops out of sight with a d with the dull explosion that echoes up from the capital waste end. Uh Okay. What? I have no idea what it's asking me to do right now. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I'm at 75%. I'm at I'll be able to actually help you in just a moment. Yeah. yeah. But according to this, we, we place, uh, according to the thing, choose and place survivors. Uh, mm -hmm. Player then places the figure in an unoccupied space, one of the individual sections of tile divided by white lines in the crossroads camp tile. Crossroad camp? Yeah. Okay, so that's the top there. So, in any one of the un okay, so I see because they're all separated. Yeah, each of each of the areas divided is like a section, a separate section of the tile. Roger that. I'm gonna start there then. And you can be ghoul man, so you'd you up there as well. So we both start. All of us start there. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Yep. Everyone yeah. starts. In one of the unoccupied ones, so makes sense. Makes sense. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, prepare player board. So we've each got our board. We've got our pegs. Uh, so when you explore through things, you're exploring through the regions of a tile, not just the tile itself. Yeah. Um, so when you like you explore it, you reveal the tile, and then there's multiple regions within the tile. And to, you move between you know, those regions, sort of thing, in order to move yeah. on to the next thing. Roger. Yeah, that makes sense. So you get uh, the vault roll up. Okay. So move action. Um, you use the move action to move around the board, but be careful. The waste is hazardous. Rough terrain and pretty ready, uh, plenty of radiation. When you perform a move action, you gain two movement points. You can spend each point to move your figure into an adjacent space. Uh, you may s interrupt your move action to perform your second action. And after you finish performing the second action, you may perform your move action. Uh, the uh, before, uh, You may finish performing your move action. Additionally, you if you perform two move actions during your turn... The points of movement for both actions can be combined and spent together, so you can get four movements. Um, uh, okay, so, so uh, I think I need to reconnect because a bunch of these tiles are all stacked on top of themselves right here. That's weird. Yeah, just reconnect. Uh, it shouldn't break the game. You can just rejoin in the same spot, right? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, um. And so, uh, mm -hmm. so you can explore, uh, okay. There's a lot of unexplored territory represented by the face down tiles and you can use the explore action to find out what the mysteries hold. Each map tile is divided into spaces that are divided by white borders. If you are in a space with a border touching a face down map tile, you can perform the explore action and flip the tile face up, then orient the tile so that the arrow on the top of the tile is pointing in the same direction as the arrow and the starting tile map. Okay, so where's the arrow? 
Okay, so it'd be you'd face it upwards. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The facing is actually important with yeah. these tiles. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it has that little arrow there that points upwards always. Um, after revealing a new map tile, if there's any enemy icons on the map, draw a random enemy token of the matching type and place it on that space. Okay, so like for example, if there's like a like this one here um, has like a weird icon, I'm guessing it might. Oh, it's for the monsters, which is this thing over here. So you, yeah, you grab one of those. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna go first, I guess. So I'm on the border now. Are you in? A, you... you can see uh, everything. Yeah. Seventy three percent. Okay. It, it's it's actually been preloaded this time, so it's not taking fucking forever. <laughs> which is entirely because of all of these three D models, that give nothing to the game. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, they do. Yeah, you can. This is them. that's the caps in there. Mm -hmm. This is the different expansions. Yeah, I thought they were just like decorative. Nah, the only thing that's decorative here is that fucking uh, fat boy, a vault boy. What do they call it? Fat boy? No, it's a vault boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of this stuff is, but some of it's actually got function. Mm. Uh, that, that's kind of neat. Um, so hang on. Uh, we need. So we've got our character cards, right? Mm -hmm. We start with three caps. We yep. also start... Um, hang on, where is it? Uh, each player also places his or her starting special token in the slot on the player board with the matching letters, then draws one additional special token at random and places it in its slot. So I started with a perception token. I so started I with it. Goes... Yeah, and you flip it. Yep. There? Yeah. Uh, I started with strength. Um... Uh, and then we no. draw one additional special token at random and place it in its slot. Oh, God. It keeps trying to, like, connect me. Oh, by the way, you have, like, a space down. Like, it, like, kicks, clicks into that. Yeah, that's your... Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, So where do we draw those from, then? Special, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah? special. Okay. Boom. So I got a... Perception. Uh, so if you get one that you've already got, you put it back in, shuffle it, and drag it. I got an intelligence. Great. <laughs> Smart, strong, super mutant. I got luck. Oh, luck is the best one in the games, honestly. If you've ever played Fallout, max out luck. Like, seriously, just do that. It, it is fun just to, like, dump everything down and max luck, and then just be some crit demon walking through the wasteland, popping Basically, heads. yeah. Okay, Um. so during the setup... Become a super mutant. Place this card in your play area. It does not count against your inventory limit and cannot be traded or discarded. For each radiation you suffer, gain one XP. Oh, fucking awesome. <laughs> what do you, you think? That's good. When I suffer radiation, I heal instead. Ah, look, man. Look, man. Look. You, you, you... You, you still get irradiated, though, apparently. I'm a super mutant. I'm not supposed to get irradiated. What up? All right, cool. So how much HP do you have, does it say? Everyone has the uh, same so HP? My max HP is 12. How do you see that? That's on my goal card. My HP maximum is 12. Okay, so mine doesn't have one. Yeah, so yours would be 16. 16. Yep. Right, okay, so I have a higher cap. And the way it, and, yeah. yeah, the way it works is your radiation comes up. Mm-hmm. And your health comes down, and if the two ever meet, you die. Oh shit! Okay, that's cool. Uh, all right then. So um, that all we need to do for the setup then? Uh, no, there's one more thing. Where is it? Uh, then each player draws one agenda card, keeping it secret from other players. Which Finally, each sense. player takes three caps. So we started with three caps. We need an agenda card. So it's this thing here. Yep. Yep. So. I guess we can give them a shuffle because these are our random secret hidden objective i don't understand half the words <laughs> <on> this, <bro. laughs> i'm looking at it being like uh what motherfucker <laughs> all right let, hang on let's flip one that we both don't have and read it yeah so we can get an understanding Okay, uh, for each space shield has. Okay, so shield is uh, in this 
case, I believe it is the Enclave. Okay, is it is that like somewhere written somewhere maybe? Um. Okay, so what are shield we... on Project Purity. I uh, no, it'll be um. Brotherhood of Steel, because they're at Project Purity. Okay, so... Alright, so we read so that Welcome space, to the Wasteland thing, yeah. Yeah, so for each space that the faction has advanced further than Star, we gain plus one thumbs up. Is that victory points, <laughs> I guess? Um... I, th I want to say yes. If there are oh, exactly here we go. One... Here, the capital wasteland. Mm -hmm. So the star is the Brotherhood of Steel, and the shield is the Enclave. Oh, okay. So for each space that the Enclave has advanced, more oh, is this than... it... okay? I see. Yeah, the... there's two things up here. Yeah, there's star and there's yeah, and it's like a counter thing. Okay, so this one is for each space the the Enclave has advanced for you get. Okay, at the end of the game, you would get. An additional victory can do point, I guess, uh, for each space further that the Enclave has advanced rather than the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, so I guess you can kind of ally with one of the two groups. Okay, that makes yeah. a lot more sense. And if we look at this one here, it says you get a victory point if there is exactly one unexplored tile. Or two victory points if there are none. So exploring everything is the know-it-all thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. And if you got close, you still get a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Cool. Well, that's that's good to know. And I, th let's... I think I think I sort of understand it a bit better now. Yeah. That it's weird that they just like I'm not a big fan of when games rely on like icons a lot. When we played I, that I, Shadow I think Run I game, why? Yeah. Because it's that way they can just use the star and the shield to represent two different groups whichever the scenario happens to be without having to give new icons so there's a star down here which i assume is the uh brotherhood of steel's place right are we supposed to put a uh the shield the, uh, let's the see shield so place a shield on project purity so yeah that would be on here is there a shield up here yep well, hold so up a shield starts on project purity are you sure because it says there's one and two here so resolve any effects on the back of the scenario sheet then for each space on the map with an icon matching an icon on an enemy token take one random enemy token matching that icon place it finally place the star and shield power tokens on the topmost space of the power track uh i don't think i don't think we need to put one there because the game automatically set that up for us they automatically put a star there for some reason i don't know why but yeah, I'm not sure where that came from, though, because it's not on here. Look yeah. for survivors. The wreck is a cog. Is there a cog? That, that's this here. Okay, so uh, to gain influence in the wasteland, you're going to have to help other people, whether it be some random wastelanders or some powerful factions determined by the scenario. All the ways you can help people are represented by quests. All available quests for you to complete our staged face up in the play area one quest is staged this way during setup and the others are added as you play the game each quest has multiple objectives each with different results each objective has its own unique requirement some might provide the name of a space or type of space on the map that your figure must be in others might list specific actions you must perform uh, some objectives okay. are marked with a cog I... icon indicating that you must perform the quest action to complete that objective. Yeah, I see how this is. So we look for survivors, and so if we go to the wreck, the thing that will happen will be the shield will advance, and we'll place the shield on Project Purity. Mm. Uh, loot times two, stage 45 and 101, which are the, the cards, so we'd look for card 45, card 101, and then throw out card 46. Or we can go to Megaton. In which case, the star advances one. The shield goes to Project Purity. Two loot, stage 48 and 67. Trash. Trash what? Trash 101? No. I think trash, trash. is just... Uh, I think there's just... A, like I think this one here is just like... Trash is just like trash this card, right? Because see how they got dots separating them? Oh, and then yeah. They also have it yeah. on a sipping line. So I think that's all that means. I, 
I think. Yeah, so we basically we choose which of these two options to do for the quest. I think I think this one right here is like if the first one's added, right? You get uh, stage uh, forty five and one hundred one, and then you add forty six, uh, which is I think another quest line for the uh, that particular thing, right? I think that's how that works. It, that's definitely how it yeah. looks to me. Okay. Um, well, where do you want to start now that you have your all your stuff and shit like that? Um, I want to start everything here. Yeah, that's. Uh, didn't shouldn't we didn't we start with an item? Did we? I don't know. Uh, let me double check. Thought we did. Um. Each player chooses survivor, takes a score, corresponding figure, character card, and special token. Player places the figure. At, uh... I guess not. I thought we started with an item. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, I will start in this file. All right. So I'm going to go first, then. I guess I will explore. What does this icon over here mean? You know? Uh, that's that's the objective. That's the wreck. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, then. Uh, so what? You do, you get two actions, right? And so that's a skull. I guess we shuffle this and we pull the skull out. <laughs> it's just that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means, but I guess the loot is a gun. Um, I guess that's how that works. A nice hat, Calamity Jane. Nice hat, Calamity Jane. All right, so I still was... remember that. That's like the first time in. That's like the first important thing to say to someone in Fallout Three. <laughs> you walk up to the sheriff. Nice hat, Calamity Jane. Okay, so. Hello. Um, so looking at this, the idea is that... All right, so that guy showed up. Now I've got my second action, right? Because you get two actions, and I want to move, yeah? Uh, during a turn, you may perform up to two actions, one to explore, and then you can move, quest, encounter, fight, camp. All right, I'm going to move twice, then. So there and there. Because every time you use a move action, you get two move things yeah uh when you perform a move action you gain two movement points you can spend each point to move your figure uh additionally if you perform two move actions during your turn you get four point, movement movements yeah. from both can be combined and spent together i guess that's for difficult terrain i guess that's why they do that because red takes two to move through yep makes sense all right so after my turn what happens uh, let's see. Hold action. Quest Resolving action, a turn. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. I guess. Answers. I don't think. I don't think he attacks you until the end of turn. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Fight action. So, end of the round. There are many dangers in the way of sand, including terrifying enemies. Powerful factions towards the goals. So far, the survivors have been having all the fun, but at the end of the round, these forces get to act. After all players are taking their turns, I guess there is no... Uh, so, yeah, after all my actions are gone, you take a turn. And after all the actions are taking their turn, enemies activate. You reveal the top card of the agenda deck. And Okay, so we need to refresh that. Um, and resolve the enemy icons shown along the bottom of the card, then discard it. Um... All text on the agenda card is ignored during enemy activation. This text is used only for players drawn it and is described later. Okay, so um, enemy activation. Um, okay, so from left to right, each enemy icon. So let's just pull one up just so we can see what it looks like. Yeah. All right. So, yep. so all right. So this one here is star. So it would activate the and Brotherhood. Hit. Robots and Raiders. Yeah. In that order. So, uh, okay. 
When an enemy type activates, you move the enemy of that type one space towards the nearest survivor. If before moving, that enemy is either in the same space as the survivor or is adjacent to the survivor it ha and has this, the gun icon, which I think that dude does. Yep, that means he has a ranged attack, so he can attack you. From uh, the, the enemy survivor. fights that survivor instead. All other enemies of a type have to you activate. Uh, you flip all inactive enemies. Okay. After all enemy types of a type have activated, you flip all inactive enemies of that card face up. My enemy... Oh, okay. So... We're not supposed to flip him until we find him, I guess? Yeah, so... No, he's... So he stays like that. No, because it said, it said face up, right? Did, you, did it say face up or face down? When, uh, uh, let's explore. Uh, if there are enemy icons on the map tile, draw a random enemy token, the matching type, and place it face up on that space. So, so yeah, he up. would be face up. Okay, but it says mention here like to flip it again when you're done. Um, when an enemy fights a survivor, that survivor and the enemy resolve his fight as survivor had performed the fight action. If there's any ever a tile for the closest survivor, the enemy moves towards or attacks the survivor with the lowest HP value. If two survivors are tied for lowest HP value, the tied player acts during uh, the tied player that acts during in order. Okay, in the turn order is chosen. That acts earlier in the turn order. Okay. Um, all right. So, I guess that's it then. Cool. All right. So, what are you doing when your turn? Um. Okay. So. I guess we uh, let's just continue with the explore thing. Let's let's see what's under here. Uh, so that's facing the right way out. Yeah, I think they all will be. Oh, okay. Um, um, there's no map uh, things in here though. But there's that radiator no. to space. Yep. So as I guess my next would be a move action. So I can move to here because they're touching. Yep. And then I guess I'll just stand here because I'm not going to get damaged by it so what does that actually mean though when you go into that like um, now when you enter the green bordered areas you take one radiation okay uh, let, me, let me double check i don't think it has uh, a movement penalty on it as well although i can't seem to find where that was uh probably in the movement section It's not a very Terrain. difficult red. You must spend two points of movement to move into the space. A radiated green. You suffer one rad when you move into this space. Rads are described later. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Rads ain't sticky. That's true. Okay. Um. So you move two, and then now the bad guys take a turn. Yeah. So we flip it. Yeah. So we would. Flip and repeal this. So, uh, so raiders and then bugs would activate. All right. So the raider goes and he's one space away from me. So he gets to do his dirty deed. Done dirt cheap. Um, all right. Fight action. We're not going to show code. It's dangerous out there. The uh, There are mutant, mutated creatures, raiders, and worse things waiting for the bright-eyed survivor to come along. You are going to need to be prepared to fight off these enemies. You can perform a fight action uh to choose one enemy in your space to fight uh, when you fight an enemy you are trying to score the number of hits equal to or exceeding its level while avoid getting hit back uh the level is the uh, the number in the cog um he's level two yeah yeah um so uh uh you can hit the enemy's head arms legs or body but only hits in the green area which he which the enemy is vulnerable count. So he's chest Torso and legs. legs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to fight an enemy, you roll three Vats dice. Some weapons are described later allow you to re-roll Vats dice. If there are any cog icons shown in the Vats dice after the roll is final, the enemy hits you. For every... Oh, it's like a star, I guess. For every star icon, you suffer damage equal to the enemy's level. All right. Okay. So I got some Vat dice here. Um, I'm just gonna separate them a little bit because they're all too close. Okay, so... Yeah, so you hit him in the torso twice and once in the arms, and he hits you twice for two damage each. 
So, yeah. That's... So you killed him, but you took four damage in the process. All right. Um... Uh, wait, does... Yeah, each icon, yeah. Uh, so I Resolve do some... a fight as if that survivor had performed the fight action. Okay, so yeah, so you still kill him. Oh, uh, actually, do you? Because it's ranged. Uh, let's see. I, 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 uh, when the enemy activates... I think range just means that he can space. fight from a distance. Is the way If that... it does this and you do not have a ranged weapon, add one star to the dice result. Okay, so I take, what, six damage? An additional two damage, yeah. So you take six damage, but you kill him. Okay. You gain one loot. When you kill this enemy, draw one loot card. Okay. Um, okay, so do I pick from here? Oh, no, that's the shop. So this is the loot here. So I'll just take one. Yep. And you gain XP, uh, XP equal to his level. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, uh... Kill an enemy. You gain XP equal to its level. Discard the enemy from the map. It is returned to the supply. Okay. Take a random enemy of the same type from the supply and place it face down on the closest matching icon on the map that does not already have an enemy of that type on it. Wait, so I we have to put another raider down? Uh, yes. Okay. So well, right. this one will be face down, so it's inactive. So what we do we put it in the pile again and shuffle it? Is that what we're doing? You discard the enemy from the map. It is returned to the supply. So, yes. Yeah, so, put him back and shuffle him back in. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you take another one and place it face down on the closest raider spawn point. So, I guess you'd place another one back in the super duper map. That's not it? Is what you said? Or... Uh, take a random enemy of the same type from the supply. And place mm -hmm. it face down on the closest matching icon on the map that does not already have an enemy type on it. Okay, so read that one then. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, as you kill enemies, have encounters and complete quests, you will gain XP, become more powerful and more special. Each time you kill an enemy, you gain XP equal to that enemy's level, which is two. Uh, other game effects will grant XP specify the amount gained. XP is tracked by your XP peg, gray. The first time you earn an XP, you place the XP counter on the hole beneath the furthest left special token you have. And each time you earn XP, you move that peg to the next special token on your player board. The number of pegs, the number of times the peg moves is equal to XP that you have earned. If the peg moves behind, beyond your special level token, you level up. Yeah, so in this okay. case, you started one XP, it put it on the S. Then you got another XP, which moves it to the I. Mm -hmm. When you get one more XP, it'll go off the thing, and it'll go back to this point here, but you'll gain another mm -hmm. special token. Okay. And the last one, at least, I got this thing here. Okay. What's this? Dragon of the Barbarian. The Barbarian. Uh, when you camp, if you do not have S, you may discard this card and gain two XP. Oh, that sucks. I, mean, I guess when I level up, that all resets, yeah? Uh, no, you'll get another one. What do you mean? You'll get a third special tag. I mean, once once all these specials are filled, once specials filled up. That's going to take a very long time because each time you level up, you have to gain one more additional XP to level up. Mm. So what is this? I can sell this maybe for two caps? Possibly. Because um... it's very useless to me then. Then again, the super mutant might just like reading comic books. Who knows? Okay. Um, all right, then. I'm, I'm guessing the the theory behind it is you're already strong, so a, a comic isn't going to help you fight. <laughs> Good theory. Uh, okay, so... Can I... What does camping do in this game? Camping heals? Yeah. Camp action. <laughs> Uh, do does all this have you exhausted when the wasteland is becoming too much for you find a safe place and hunker down recover a bit and trade with your fellow survivors when you perform a cam action you perform you recover three hp and unexhaust all your ex exhausted cards then you gain well-rested trade by taking the well-rested trade token and placing it on your playboard 
Finally, you may trade with any other survivors within one space of you. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, in that case, I will do a move action. Is there a... So I get two. Do you see a... Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm vilified, so I should have this. Wait, what does that mean? How do you know uh, you've, you've vilified? Oh, during setup. That's becomes... on here. During setup, oh, I'm vilified. Um, which one's super mutant then? This one. Uh, during setup, become a super. Mutant. Yeah, they. Okay. Yeah, that. Yep. Right then. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, so I explore. And that gets another thingy. Okay. So well rested. Mm -hmm. Is a it's a reroll. So you can gain well rested and then mm -hmm. uh, when performing a test or fighting an enemy you can voluntarily lose well rested to gain one re-roll re-rolling any number of the dice mm -hmm. okay so that's my turn so you have explored and moved yep good doesn't seem too difficult honestly when we get into the actual minutiae of this game so does this get uh, yeah. discarded, or does it go back into the pile and refreshed? Uh, so this gets discarded okay. in a, a separate pile, and once we get through all these, we shuffle it and make a new deck of it. Okay, cool. All right, then. Uh, okay. So can can you split your movement? It's something I'm wondering now, because cool. it says... Yeah, so you can do a move, do another so action, for example, and finish I your could, movement. Yeah. I could move to here explore this and then move into it yep that's understand. yeah you can yes you just okay. get move uh, like you for every move action you do you just get x amount movement. of move movement yeah so yeah yep yeah. so i'm gonna move here i'm going to explore here oh i guess i won't be moving into that after all yeah looks like it uh i so guess that's that's bug. kind of the the problem then so you want to yeah just shuffle that and bring that out yeah okay it's a rad roach. All right, then. Okay. Um, um, now we... I still have one movement, so I guess... Uh, you know what I'll do, actually? I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll move here. Okay. Um, so let's see what the agenda is, then. So... Soldiers. All right, so now do we yeah, flip them so... upright if they're not already flipped? Yes, so they activate. Mm -hmm. All right, so flip that. Raider Psycho. Okay, so they move one act, one one thing, right? So he would one move... One towards the nearest enemy, yes. And then he would move there. But they can't attack if they moved, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's only if they're already in your thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that one, I just got unlucky with that first one then. Yeah, by the sounds of yeah. and then... Just... Uh, creatures activate, which there is none, I guess. Yep. I mean, would there have started with one on Punch of Purity? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. So, that went to you, and then it goes back to me. Um, I guess, the, I mean, yeah, we just need to make sure that we're passing the first player token back and forth. So, I move here. I'm going to explore. Um... So this is what where that thing is, I guess. Uh, look for survivors, the wreck. So you, I guess, yeah, I guess as soon as you explore it, it's considered done. <clears throat> really? So you have. Okay. Yeah, you've you've gone there and you've explored to look for survivors. Okay. Um. So that gets a bug. Right. So the shield advances by one. Yep, and, um, okay, uh, and then we place a shield, two loots. we place a shield on Project Purity, um, again, two loot, so that's just off the top of this loot pile, yeah? Uh, yes. And two, oh. all right, um, okay. Tesla science. When you camp, if you're not discovered, I, for fuck's sake, <laughs> have both of them. Uh, you can only equip one by the looks of things, right? 
during a fight. Uh, no, you have yeah, you have one one identity card, one weapon equipped, one companion, and an inventory. So yeah, see how this has the hand icon? So it would go in your hand spot. That one, yep. Mm -hmm. And these are just inventories, I guess. So So now we need stage forty five. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Stage forty five and one oh one. And then add forty six. Um Oh, so when you walk into a settlement, do you do the encounters, like these things? Like yeah, you... I think that's how that works. Okay. Mm. So what is it? Stage 45 and 101. Add 46. Trash that. So that's... Yeah, let me see how these actually come out, because that library is weird looking. During a fight, if you spend... A head and a star result. Discard this card. I don't understand what that means. I'll look this up. I don't know what that means. Weapons and apparel. Uh, each weapon and apparel you have equipped can help you during a fight. Each weapon has one or more special tokens shown on its card. For each of those special tokens that matches the special token you have, you roll, you re-roll any number of dice on the final result of the uh, before the final results are resolved. You can perform one such re-roll each special token that matches your equipped weapon. So I have S, and I have strength. So. Um, okay, so search the card library for the card indicated by number and place it face up in the play area with the other. Okay, so 45 and 16 become the two. Uh, 45 and 101 become the two new and available. And 406, okay. it looks like too. No, that's different. Add is retrieve the card indicated by number from the card library, then take a number of cards equal to the number of players from the top of the deck matching the retrieved cards back. Finally, shuffle all cards together and place them on top of the matching deck. Okay, I assume you know what you're doing? I think so. I think I've figured it out. So, stage 45 and 101 get placed here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Stage 45. So, flip it? And stage. I do like this. They've actually got it. It's it's kind of like scrambles the stuff in, the, so you can't actually read them properly until you pull them out. Oh, and nice. one oh one. Okay, but it also says here add forty six as well. Yep. So add forty six is take the number of the card from the library. Uh, yeah. So we take forty six from the library, which is. This big thing over here? 46. Oh, no, you've got that. You sure that's 46? Yep. See, top left, 46. Oh. Then take a number of cards equal to the number of players from the top of the deck matching the retrieved cards back. So flip this over. I believe it's a town event. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yep. So now, because there's two players, we take two of these... Mm -hmm. Place them on there, shuffle them, and then this goes on top of here. Oh, so now there's another 
wasteland encounter for us to have that is relevant to our current quest. When do we pop the wasteland encounters? Do we have to pop them when we when we walk into these when places? When you enter into them, okay, and then have the encounter action. You do an encounter action, draw and resolve an encounter card according to your position on the map. Well, that means you so entered that wasteland, one. I didn't do an encounter action though. You didn't because I. No, I used a move action and then I used an explore action. So I didn't actually have an extra action to do the encounter. It is an action. So oh, you, you have to do an action. Explore, well. move, quest, encounter, fight, or okay. Yeah, it's actually an action. Right. Okay. Uh, well, um, what do I do with these cards? Can I keep them in my hand? How does it work? Uh, yeah, this is your hand over here. This is. So I just, uh, they just add on? Okay. So there's no hand size yep. then? All right, um, and then for my last move, I'm going to actually move into this radiated zone. I'm going to take a radiation, but I'm also going to take an XP, uh, which puts it all the way back here, and I get to level up, right? That's how that works? Uh, yep, so you draw... I believe you draw a thing, and oh, if it matches one you already have, you don't actually gain it from it, so it gets harder to level up as you level up. Um, okay, XP and leveling. Uh, when right. you level, you draw two random special tokens and choose one to keep. If you do not already have that token, add it to your player board. If you already have that token, you get a perk instead. You return the token to the player and search the perk deck for the perks that match that token and choose one to keep. So I get to pick either one of these, yeah? Yep. So you draw two and pick one. So you can either take Perception or Endurance. Uh, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, some of these weapons might have different things on them, I guess. So. There, yeah, there will be things that come up later where it's like, if you have perception, this gets an extra reroll. Okay, put that in there. Refresh. Okay. Um, so, if you take a look at this pipe wrench for me, it says, during the fight, spend a blah result to discard... Uh, spend a blah result and discard this card. I'm not sure what that means. Um... During a fight, if you spend a head with a with a star icon, a I, that's a result on the dice. Yeah, obviously. Um. um okay. That, I yeah hadn't actually looked at the weapon cards yet, so I didn't. Because I, I looked at the weapons and apparel, that and was not what I expected. And I didn't really it didn't really say anything about that in particular. So I'm not sure what that is doing, you know. But... Yeah, it doesn't seem to add anything to your fight. It's just during a spite if if you. Well, spend no. A if I if I discard. so this little S here, if I have an S here, which I do, I can re-roll one dice. Um, but what is I that how that works? Yeah, that's how that works. So if you can get like an item that has a S and an E on it, then you can re-roll two dice. Um, they actually have an icon here. Um, an example in the in the actual game itself. It's a pistol. Um, uh, he has the S token, so he chooses any number of dice to re-roll. For the number of uh, Just... upgrades that I have, yeah. I think I think it might break. I think that's what that means, right? I... Okay, so yeah, if, if you crack someone in the head, you lose the wrench. But it... Specifically, if they hurt me as well, right? Like yeah, that's... it has to be the headshot with you taking a damage. You'll yeah. lose them. Okay, so it's a weapon. It helps, maybe. Until it doesn't, <laughs> I guess. All right, so uh, you want to take your turn? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, hang on. So this gets trashed, so I guess we'll... Yeah, it's probably... Oh, there's a trash there. So these are two new quests, right? So uh, most of the crew has survived, but... Uh, but all are injured, uh, many severely, unwilling to trust a stranger and a super mutant. Uh, they require proof of your loyalty. They disclose the locations of some nearby caches in which there are supplies and protocols for this kind of situation. Locate survival gear for the wounded. Encounter any city locations until you locate the cache. Okay, so that's what that 46 did then, I guess, right? Yeah, so we've got to search... 
those are oh, that's wasteland locations. So encounter the wasteland locations until we get the cache. So it's it's in the top three somewhere. Okay, so Oh, we can demand an explanation in exchange for the contents of the caches, in which case we encounter it until we locate it. And Okay, so that just advances the Brotherhood instead of the Enclave. Mm-hmm. So the only uh, so this silver thing would then move to here, the red the account? Hoffman farms. But that's a different thing, right? Because it has that icon there. Why would it move to the Raider camp? I was reading National Treasures. Uh, no, so it can be any of the wasteland areas is where we can encounter it. This moves to Hoffman Farms because the second one, it's, see, it's oh. got the cog Hoffman Farm. Okay, Draw so... and fight a Raider. It gains the radiation icon. Uh, so, so, um, okay, but here's the settlement encounter and wasteland encounter, right? But if you look at these yep. ma at the map, see how this Raider camp has a settlement? And the Hoffman farm has a radar. Uh, uh, the settlement and that one, yeah, that one is a wait. What was that? That's one? settlement. That's, this and, is wilderness. This is wilderness. No, that's wasteland. This, oh, that's settlement. No, it's yeah, fine. if you mouse over, it says wasteland encounters. Um. Yeah, that's that's. Yes, that's wasteland. Yeah, that's wasteland. So yeah, this that's this settlement. forty-five settlement. is saying encounter any wasteland until you locate. Yeah, all right. Yes. So we've got to search the wasteland until we find the hidden enclave mm -hmm. placard. All right, Brahmin have been disappearing from the Hoffman farm. Stories have circulated about strange lights in the sky on nights of disappearances, but you know it's probably just the death claw or another predator, right? Uh, Hoff, uh, defend the Brahmin pines at night. Uh, it gains a radiation icon. Okay. I guess because that's why there's the strange lights, is because it's irradiated. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh, activate an old radio and monitor signals. It says E and I. What's that mean? So if you have. Uh, so you'd need to be at Highway 74. Which is this thing over here. Which thing? Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. So if you're at Highway 74, you have Endurance and, and intelligence. intelligence. Does the 3 represent? Does it mean you have to be level 3? Uh, I don't see how that works, but... Let's see. Objectives. Some objectives are marked with it. I don't know what that three represents. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, okay. You have to do an endurance and intelligence check of difficulty three. Oh, it's a test example. All right. Yeah. So you'd need uh, he to rolls do... vats and gets three star icons, not enough to succeed. Okay, so you need the actual star icons. Like, so you'd roll the dice, whatever this is, yeah, and so you need to get... If you had, So you have endurance and intelligence. So you'd roll your three dice, and I guess you would get two chances at a re-roll because you have endurance and intelligence. Is that how that works? Yeah, so you would be able to make the test too, but you wouldn't be able to re-roll anything because you don't have endurance or intelligence. That's how I'm reading that, right? Yeah, um, according to the test, because he, he has strength, so he gets to re-roll once. He doesn't have endurance, so he doesn't get to re-roll a second time. Um, and it's it's a re-roll as many as you want sort of thing. And you have to make three successes in order to activate the old radio to monitor the signal. In which okay. case, yeah, that makes stage sense, 104. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, then. So now that right. I've done that, it's your turn. So. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm going to move to get to the highway here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do an encounter. Okay. Um, okay, so you're encountering a wasteland. So you take the top one of this pile, I guess, right? 
Uh, yeah, it's a wasteland level one. Apparently, the level does count. Are you activating the highway radio, or are you doing a, an encounter? I'm doing an encounter. Okay. Yeah. So I will take the. Let's see. Two volt encounters. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. To resolve an encounter, the player to your right draws one encounter card and reads the italicized text at the top of the card aloud. Okay, so that would be me, because I'm to your right and to your left. Yep. So I take this one, yeah? Uh, yep, so you'd take the top of the Wasteland Encounter deck. Yep. Yep, and then read the italicized text aloud. Okay, right, so I guess I'll put it in my hand then. Yeah, I guess it's so uh, I don't know what the results are, so I don't pick the best one immediately. Um. Well, I mean, they're all... Okay, so they're all scrabbled, so... I guess it doesn't matter. Um, a few faint scratches on an old wall indicate uh, an unclave cache. Uh, pushing the rusted cavern aside, you expose the hole in the floor and drop down. Inside, a hooded figure dozes. Uh, back out, look elsewhere, drive her off, or ask what happened here. Uh, so I don't have charisma, so I'd have to get a, three I'd dots. Have to get like a three. Yeah. Which is probably unlikely, I'm going to assume, and I'd get no attempts to reroll. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll try to drive her off, which I believe would be date two. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. I like that. After a scuffle, she runs back up through the hole. The cage is empty, and outside she waits. Draw and fight a human dude. Okay. Um, Raider scum. Raider scum. All right. Raider so... scum. Yeah, you have to... Uh, uh, armor, I think, gets an extra HP. Uh, I have, yeah, I have to hit him one additional time. So I have to hit him for two, but he's still only worth one. Yeah. Okay, so let's roll, see what I get. Uh, well, you uh, hit him... Torso, yeah. torso, torso. So I smack the shit out of him, but I take one, two, three, four, five damage in doing so. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's rough. Well, you can just step back in and heal up, so you're not so bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My max is 12, right? Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So I don't get any loot, but I do get an XP. You get a single XP. Uh, that would go to P, uh, actually. That goes, yeah. 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 That's kind of cool how that works, actually. It's kind of like weird and stuff in that regard, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so add, add 47. 47, and then trash that. Fine, 47. And you add it to the and Wasteland that. Encounters with two, right? Yep, so the top two will be shuffled with this. Let me search the deck. I've, I uh, really like how it's hidden. Like, they did a really good job with the hidden text stuff, so that's... Yeah, so I was saying, they're, like, they're scrambled in the library, so, so you can't actually see... Let me guess. You add th it? you add one here and then two more from the library randomly, and then you shuffle that and add it to the top. Is that how you're doing it? Yeah. So and then the top two come off here. Mm -hmm. They get shuffled together. Whoa! What the fuck? Okay, I think they came from this pile. Yeah. Yeah. So these get shuffled together, and then this goes back on top. Yeah. So that next event is somewhere in the top three of this deck. So. Did you take it from here? Where did you take the extra two from? Here or the library? Uh, from the top of the wasteland encounters. Okay, and then we trash this. So we're not we're not adding any extra. We're just well, we're wanting we're adding one extra, but we're randomizing the top two into this as well. Yeah, so it's not like you have to go through the entire encounters deck. It's always going to be somewhere near the top, depending mm -hmm. on the number of players. Okay, so um. And what adds forty stage four oh nine and six oh seven, and oh, oh no I no you didn't no XP. well no you didn't lo locate the cache. I did. I located the cache and it was empty and there was a raider there. I killed the raider. Uh, the cache is empty and outside she waits. Okay. I don't know if that is comp is. Yeah, that's forty six. That was the one that we had to add for this, wasn't it? Demand an explanation in exchange for the content of the cache. Um, I, I think that's how that works, right? So you just get it? 
Yeah, I, I located the cache. Mm. It was empty, mm -hmm. and I had to kill someone there. So okay. now mm -hmm. we've advanced this. So you advance the... Which one? You... That's number one, right? Yeah. Um, so you advance the shield. Well, no, this I get to choose, I think. Uh... Because they're both the same. Encounter any wastelands until you locate the cache. Is that how that works? Sure, I guess that yeah. is how it works, right? Because they both they both bring the same thing. The only difference is is like which one you expand on, right? The uh, Brotherhood or the uh, Enclave. Um, but you actually so okay. Uh, I wish it said which one that actually meant. Draw from fight. Does that actually finish? I, I don't know. Like, we added an extra thing p as part of this, right? So. Yeah, and that was this one. Yeah. So, do we have to find that before this is finished? Yeah. So, to complete this, we have to search until we find this card here. Found mm -hmm. this, so this is completed. Yeah. Well, I, pull out 49 and 607 and see if it's like a continuation or if it's like a. Um... Or if we have to find that other... What did we add? 47 to it. So you need 49 and 607. 49. Be gone, Wasteland Raider thought. <laughs> and 67. Um... So it's, it's like real Fallout. The quests just keep piling up. Um... It's weird, like, because I started one quest and then you got to finish it or something? Yeah, that's kind of how it happened, because they go out here in the, the public area for people to finish them. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... So... <clears throat> so would you say this one's finished then? Because if you read this one here, it says, The survivors explain that mostly scientists... Critical to the Enclave's current mission, retake the wasteland for humankind. In order to continue their work, need someone to make con conclave, uh, contact with the Enclave and request a meta back. Um, I think there's a way to figure this out, actually. Let's yeah. see what stage three says. She explains that the cache was empty when she found it and points you to another. So encounter you the encounter the next card. Add 47 and trash it. So, yeah, I this think... was the cache. We got there. It was already empty when she got there. This happens, but we don't get to continue the cache, the cache yeah. quest line of, of tracking down what happened to the loot and getting more XP from it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's fine. So we'll put this in the garbo. Um, yep. We'll move these over and... so we have more space. And So we... The National Treasures has been completed. Yeah, so you so would get... get th which one, one are you shield. completing? Yeah. Uh, demand an explanation in exchange for the contents of the cache. Uh, okay. You didn't do the explanation one, so... I don't know if that matters, right? It doesn't. The, the results are identical. It doesn't matter which one I take. Yeah, so which one are you taking? Uh, take... Uh, that's just one. This, uh, the shield? I located the survival gear. Yeah. So they um, shields it too. I've already moved that. You already moved it? Okay. All right then. Yep. And S I gained three, three XP, XP. So now do you one... does XP carry over or does this go back to the start? Like if you level up, uh, do you get more? Or does it like stop? Yeah, it, it continues going. So okay. that's one. Yep. So now two, which puts me back to here, and I get to pick a special. Mm-hmm. Uh, perception or strength. Uh, I guess I'll take strength. And then you go to S, right? And then three. Puts okay, yeah, S. that makes sense. Yep. So we put this one in the trash, right? Now that's done. And that gets, yes, trash. Cool. So we didn't find out where the cash, what was. happened to the, the supplies. I mean, 47 is still in there, right? It's it's in in the Wasteland Encounters. Yeah, that might be 
relevant, but... Yeah, okay, so now we've got two more quests. So, uh, okay, so the survivors explain that they are... Mo okay, yep. Uh, so you report the location to the Enclave soldiers, Project Purity Space with... Uh, so we need to go here. Um, and it's a PI check. Okay, out of four. Um, place... Wait, place another. Yeah. Not yet. Cool. Um, report the Enclave's emergence to the looming threat to the Brotherhood of Steel. So we could either go to the tower or we can go to the other one. Um, it's interesting that the Brotherhood of Steel is at the tower. Which, yeah. I guess now that doesn't look like Tenpenny Tower, which is what I initially thought it was. Oh, yeah. You're right. I thought it was Tenpenny Tower as well. Yeah, it's it's just like some tower that has just laid down. Huh, weird. Uh, and the new one is Vault Rumors. Every year, new unfortunates appear out of the wasteland, claiming to have been banished from an underground bunker made before the war by a company called Vault Tech. Perhaps it's worth investigating. Uh, many of the Vault Exiles are caught by raiders. You might be able to get them, something off of them. Kill any bandits. Um, okay, so is there like a token for like the thumbs up that we don't have yet or something? I don't see the thumbs up. Is that just like a level up? No, that's reputation, I think. Where's reputation? Find what it is. Uh... Then separate. Uh, wait, that's an agenda. Oh, you gain an agenda. Oh, that's interesting. Is that how that works? Yeah, no, that makes sense. So it gives you. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, yep, that no, makes sense. Makes sense. It gives you more agenda cards to complete. Um, yeah, all right. So doing this will give you an agenda card. Cool. All right, then. Um, so is that your last action, by the way? Uh, move, encounter, yes. Okay. All right, then. Um, so in that case, uh, you would get the first player token, I guess. And then we'd do the bad guy turn. Star and f the thingies, but robots. there's no stars there and there's go. no robots, so nothing happens. Uh, hang on, what happens when star activates? They do they send out people? <laughs> That'd be cool if they did. Take I a think look. they might, because uh, the faction does move into areas. Yeah, yeah. Enemy actions, okay. Um, end of round. Okay. Uh, uh, factions. When a factions icon is shown on the bottom of the agenda card, draw, drawn for enemy activation. That factions enemy token activate following the same rules as normal enemies okay but Wait, what does that mean when a faction's icon is shown on the bottom of the agenda card that faction's enemy token activate following the same rules as normal so the enemies of the brotherhood of steel so what's that the enclave, if an maybe? enemy on the scenario sheet shows an X or Y for a value, that value is determined by the position on that faction's power token. The values of X and Y are shown on the right of the power track. Okay, so, so enemies of the enclave of the Brotherhood of Steel is Y. By the looks of things, yeah? Yeah, so Y power is equal to 2. So the enclave activates. Yeah. So this, these guys. And what do they do? 
We don't have any Enclave people out though. The sheet also shows an enemy for each faction. Faction tokens on the map represent the enemy shown to that faction on the scenario sheet. Do we just put like a do we just put like a a dude out somewhere? Like do we just put a shield out somewhere? I think it actually is the shield that activates <clears throat> and moves. Because this represents an enclave soldier, right? So if you see oh, up here yeah, on this sheet, it, it, if you look at this thing here, it's like when you complete it, you place another shield. At yeah, so if you complete that, you can add extra enclave or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if you look here, so in this case, enclave is Y, so it would be a, an enclave soldier level two. Okay. So how do we? So the enclave soldiers activate mm -hmm. because it's the enemy. It activates, so the Enclave moves one closer to the nearest player. Cool. All right, I'm cool with that. That that's pretty. Actually, that's really cool. I. Uh... It's a bit weird that they made it the enemy activate, not the the player, or the actual faction activates. But all right. Are you sure it's that though? Are you sure it's just not? Yeah. The... No, I I read that like six times. Mm -hmm. When a faction's icon is shown on the bottom of the agenda card drawn for enemy actions that faction's enemy tokens activate following the same rules as normal enemy i don't there's probably a reason for that maybe it's something else later on where it's like all does the, the stars fight the shields no they they come to us they're coming to kill us okay all right, they, yeah they act just as normal enemies all right then uh well that's over there is a thing though if it moves into one of these red, like one of these unexplored things, it explores it. It doesn't follow. No, it doesn't follow the normal terrain rules. Like it doesn't have to move through each space. It'll just move to here, and then move out on its next activation. Oh shit! Okay, that's rough. Yeah. All right then. Um, well now, uh, you're up, my man. I guess. What would you like to do? Uh, right. So first, I would like to. Like, are we competing against each other? Like, I don't understand what, what's, what's the... <laughs> what's the end goal here? Do we just... Is it just... We're just playing Fallout, I guess. <laughs> I think so. I think we're... I think it's, like, pseudo-competing. Like, we can... We can work together, but we don't have to. I'm not sure. Honestly, mm. I don't know exactly how, what the goal is of the game. Okay. Uh, right. So what I wanted to look at was uh, resting. I took a ton of damage. So camp, recover some HP, unexhaust companions, and exchange stuff with other survivors. I don't have stuff, so I won't be doing I mean, technically, you could move into there and then explore... Yeah, and that would heal actually, you, you know, I time. can, because I can, I'm going to move, I'm going to do a move action, so I'll get one, I'm going to move one, which that's going to also heal me. A supernatural and his ghoul buddy can't have a nice camping trip in the wasteland without the fucking brotherhood coming to stop them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I think we need to be more worried about the Enclave, who are currently winning. Mm. Uh, and then I'm going to explore action. Okay. And that puts a burgo. Right there. Yep. And he flips. I still have one move left. Stingwing. There were no Stingwing. Capital Wasteland. Bullshit. Bullshit. Throw this garbage game out. Um. Oh wait, hang on. Um. Oh no, they didn't activate. Sorry. Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, I thought everything. Happened. Yeah, Raiders didn't activate. Yep, yep. I needed. Uh, I still have one movement. Action. You can move in there and. F and... Yeah, I. Could, I... Does it move, like, if you're in a radiator zone and you go into another radiator zone, does that count as gaining more radiation? Yeah, so I would gain another radiation doing that, which would heal me again. For three? Oh, and does it, is it one for one healing? Yeah, so instead of one radiation, I gain one health. 
but I have much less maximum HP. Yeah, so. no, that's cool. All right, then. I guess I'll just do that. I mean, I had one movement. I could move down to the bug, but then it would probably just attack me on its next All right, activation. so what are the objectives that we pay. have here? Uh, we could go to so the Project on... Purity. Two Enclave Soldiers. Oh, shit. So you can, like, go to the soldiers and report the location. Like they, you don't have to go to the Project Purity space. It says Project Purity or a space. Yeah, with so the you shield. can either go to Project Purity or you can go there. I suppose that's useful just in case someone's killed them off. You can just go to Project Purity, like that's their headquarters. Yeah. Okay. Well, at the start of my turn, I'm going to reveal this. Um, and uh, uh, for each space above the star, which is one. Um, uh, for each space, the shield has advanced further than the star. So two, I guess. Yeah. Um, I gain uh, two of these cards by the sounds of things. All right. Two hidden agendas. And I have loyalty to... Oh, shit. Chippos. Oh, my God. I have uh, loyalty to the um, Enclave. Okay, so declaring loyalty to a faction grants three effects. Enemies from that faction in your space do not prohibit you from performing any actions. When enemies of the faction activate, they do not take you into account. They only move toward and fight survivors that are not loyal to the faction. <laughs> and you cannot attack enemies of that faction. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay, I get it now. I'm going to put this back here. Because the Brotherhood are the enemies that of the faction, the Brotherhood. They are the ones that move. No, this is Enclave, though. I know. But earlier, when we activated the Brotherhood, enemies of that faction moved. These are the enemies of the faction Brotherhood. They're the ones that move. They're, it's our enemies, not enemies of the faction, but the enemies to us that belong to that faction. I see how that that's kind of worded weirdly, but it so, makes sense. Okay, so the star moves because the star came up. That's pretty much all that needs to happen then. Yeah? Yeah, because they're the enemies that belong to that faction. <laughs> okay. It, it, wow. It was, it's just weird. That wording. is so complicated. It's convoluted. like enemies of yeah. the faction move. It's like, well, the enemies of the faction would be the, the Enclave, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay. All right, so I, I revealed that. that. So um, you are you are now allied with the Enclave. Yes. Uh, you can only have one agenda card revealed in this way. If you reveal a new agenda card for loyalty, you must return the previous revealed card to your hand. Mm -hmm. You may also pick up a revealed agenda card at the start of your turn to withdraw your loyalty. So you can decide you're no longer loyal to them, or you can become loyal to someone else instead. Okay. There's a plus one at the bottom of these cards. I don't know what they mean, though. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to look at now. Um, I just saw that for the first time. <laughs> Do they all have plus one? Yeah. I think it's how uh, many you have be... in your hand, maybe. Might be the number of players. Uh, hang on. Completing quests through the game can grant you agenda cards. These cards track your accomplishments in the Wasteland. Each agenda card is kept secret from other survivors. An agenda card automatically grants you a single influence, which is one thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And can grant you additional influence if you meet the condition outlined on the card. Your goal is to reach a certain amount of influence before the other players. You can have a maximum of four agenda cards in your hand. If you draw a fifth, choose one and shuffle it back into the agenda deck. Uh, so we have two players, so the first one to reach 10 influence wins. Okay, that's going to uh, take a while. As soon as the total value of your agenda cards is this amount of influence or more, the game ends and you win. Reveal your agenda cards to other players. At this time, any survivors who reached or exceeded the required amount of influence can reveal their cards and claim a joint victory alongside you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then. So, for my first action, I will explore. And nothing happens. Cool. Oh, wait, no, bugger. Uh, there is a bug. Mm -hmm. He can be flipped, by the way. 
Well, this one should have been flipped as well, right? Yeah. Because it was flipped. It came up on the explore. So, yeah. 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 And Um, if bugs activate. (laughs) uh, Yeah. Um, Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. Um. Interesting. If I camp in a radiated zone, what happens? Uh, nothing. It it specifically says when you enter an irradiated area gain a red but staying in it does nothing Mm. and healing and camping gives you three xp yeah all right three heal three hp does it Uh, heal rads at all i don't believe it does double check but i gain well rested okay yeah and you gain Recover three HP and exhaust, unexhaust all of your exhausted card. Then you gain well rested by taking the well rested trait token and placing it on your player board. Mm-hmm. Finally, you may trade. You cannot perform this action if you're in the same space as it. But you heal for three. You gain well rested. And trade with anyone within one space. I am not, so you can't trade. All right, that's me. Cool. All right, uh, and I now... will. No, no, bad guys go now. That was. You, you went had... first, didn't you? No, you went first. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought you, you have the first player token, so I was like, hang on, he went. I, went. I just moved they it, went? yeah. yeah. Alright, so gene therapy. I guess that's the super mutants, which we don't have out. Yep. Buggos! <laughs> Buggos move. Alright, so All this right. one moves so here. This one would come here. Uh, uh, one, lowest HP, two, that'd be you. Three, four, so, yeah. One, two, three. Does it count, like, terrain? So technically it'd be one, two, three. Uh, it probably would. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm, I, fuck it. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So he'd come to me mm-hmm. and both of those two would move towards you. Although, hang on, this guy has a ranged attack. So he would attack you there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right then, so uh, I roll some dice. Uh, yep. Um, is so this you needed a... to hit him in the torso or the head? Which I hit twice. So you got two torso hits. So mm-hmm. he... he's dead. I take three but damage. You take one, two, three. Oh, hold up. Four damage. Hold up. No, I can re-roll. Attack. I can re-roll. So you can re-roll... I'm probably going to re-roll this one. Because I need a torso to hurt him. That's the same thing. Okay. So you take three from this, and you also take one because it's a ranged attack, and you don't have a ranged weapon. So you take four damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the bug dies, and you gain one XP. One XP. Alrighty then. Actually, no. Um, Let me just use my well rested trait. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to take one less HP. That's fine. Same thing. I'll just put that over here. Alright. And now turn starts, yeah? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, ranged enemy activates. Play business space. Does this? You do not have a ranged. Add one. Yeah. So that died. <laughs> turn starts. All right. Um, Wait, what? do we not draw a new one when that one dies? Is that not? Uh, yes. Wait, no. Is it only humans or is it? The bug guys get that as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure a new one comes back and gets placed in the nearest 
insect care. Uh, draw another last card. Abilities. Fight action. Uh, when you kill an enemy, you gain XP equal to its level. Discard the enemy from the map and return it to the player. Then you a random enemy of the same type. From the player, place a face down on the closest matching icon on the map. It does not already have it. Okay, so to go on the closest bug There's, icon to I you. Guess this one, right? Because it's in the same like, territory. It, it could be, could be either of them. Yes, technically. Yep. It doesn't matter. Yep. And that goes face down there until either you choose to encounter it or the bugs act. All right, I'm gonna move here. I'm going to fight the Saluda. Okay. Mm. Uh, so what does that icon represent? He has retreat. If you fail to kill this enemy during a fight, the enemy becomes inactive and is flipped face down. Hmm. Ah. Did I hit him? Legs, I did. Uh, but my thing also broke. And I say re-roll that. Which I will. I will re-roll that. Oh, fuck. That's not good. So I take five damage. Man, my big ass just gets hit by everything. <laughs> uh, yep, so you take five damage. You also gain one XP and one... <clears throat> Alright. However, um, I also do this. So you get an agenda. Wait, is that an Yeah, so you get an agenda. Mm -hmm. And stage 68 comes out. I don't know why this library takes forever to load. Because you're Australian? I mean, so are you. Sorry, you have Australian and... the Australian disability of having shitty internet. Third world internet. No, I don't I don't think it's the internet. I think it, it's literally when I open or close the library, it's just it takes a little bit. That's weird. So that gets trashed and this one comes out instead. Alright. The Raiders have had one of the vault dwellers wrist mounted computers on him. With this, you should be able to contact the people on the inside of the vault or contact it with its computer. Hmm. Okay, so you can either go to any town and have do an intelligence and luck check of four, mm -hmm. or you can go to Vault 84 and have any companion with you. Okay. I also gain a loot too from killing that dude. Yeah, you gain one loot and one XP. Ah, uh, Brahmin Stink. When you camp, you may discard this and recover eight additional HP. Then suffer one rad. Huh. Alright then. Which would give you an additional XP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. Now I want to play fucking Fallout again. <laughs> Which which game do you think had the better radiation system? Um, I don't remember much other than the fourth one, to be honest with you. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I think I, I think Fallout 4's radiation, radiation wasn't great. This is this is based on the Fallout 4 radiation. That the more radiation you have, the less HP you have. Which I don't know. I, I felt it, it was kind of really overly simplified. Rather than you're being heavily irradiated, your stats are plummeting. Whatever was the one that allowed me to, like, have, like, perks because I was radiated. I think it was Sray that did that, yeah. Uh, New Vegas had that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, that's my turn. I moved to Enfort, so uh, you're up. Okay. Uh... So I guess I'll move, well, I'll use a move action, mm -hmm. and I'm going to move into here with this sting. So I will heal one. Mm -hmm. I don't see any real reason to fight bugs other than, I suppose, XP, I guess. doesn't hurt. 
Right. Well, that 2 XP is going to be useful. Yeah, but I have to hit him twice. I don't have any rerolls or anything at the moment. Hmm. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll attack him anyway, so I'll use a fight action. Mm -hmm. And you're good. Uh, so two hits For four to damage. him, so he dies, and I take eight four damage. damage. No, you take eight because he does two damage. Uh, yes, so I'm down to 2 HP. <laughs> Fucking hell, this bug is working, you dude. What else you get? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's no loot or anything. It's not. It doesn't seem super worth fighting them, but oh. fuck it, right? So he... Do so you get he 2 dies. XP? So that puts you at... Mm. Uh, another bug comes out. Yep. Um, in the same and space goes as you. Here. Yep. Uh, wait, no, it can't be in that one because there's already a bug there, so I don't have to go to that one. And you still have a move. Yep. And I gain two XP, so one, two XP. Mm -hmm. And my final move, I'm going to step back up here so that I can heal one more because holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so now we do bad guys. So flip. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel Brotherhood. and Mutants. Brotherhood moves. And uh, not Brotherhood. Uh, Enclave. For some reason, I think Brotherhood of Steel is the. Is it's because the... it's a shield, right? Yeah, like you like think... exactly, right? Like yeah. I don't know. That's that seems and... like a miss. That someone fucked up there when they made this game. It's like, should the Enclave be the shield or the stuff? Shield. And yeah, and we don't have any mutants out, so the mutants don't activate. No, they do not. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um, it is your turn. It's kind of weird playing with two people and passing it back and forth. Do you just want to go one person first, or like, how do you want to do that? No, uh, this is this is fine, I guess. Just gonna remember to do it. All right, so I'm going to move. So one. Two, and I heal one for moving the radiation. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to move again. Three, four. Does Vilified do anything to me if I'm in a town? I hope not. <laughs> what does Vilified actually do? I don't know. It doesn't... It just says that it's like a, a trait. I guess maybe something will come up later, like if you're Vilified, this happens. Yeah, that's what I think happens for me as well with the Super Mutant. To be fair, we can't work with either of these factions, really. Because Super Mutant and Nagul, like, they're just going to kill us on site. Well, no, I've uh, declared my alliance, so... I suppose it's... Uh, <laughs> no, wait, wasn't um, Fallout 1, there was a Super Mutant, but he just wore his power armor all the time, so they didn't know, and he was a <laughs> member of the Enclave? That's fucking great, really? Yeah, um, mm. he was one of the fucking bosses. He, he was a mutant, but he wore power armor, and you didn't know he was a mutant. That's great. I wish I knew that storyline. Uh, right. So that's my turn. You'll go. So you moved twice, yeah? Yep. I moved and then I did another move. So all the way down to Megaton. Uh, this guy should be dead, by the way. So he should... We'll put him back in here and then refresh and then he should have been pulled out like that, yeah? Yep. <sighs> okay. Um... So what have I got left then? Ren is like groaning because he wants chips, but there's none left. So I'm sorry, buddy. You had some. Don't be a pig. Um, signs of life. Okay, well, I need to go talk to a man, to see a man about a dog, I guess. Um, I'll move here. So one, two. That'll uh, give me another XP. And that'll put me up one. Then I will camp. And I will use my Brahmin stake. So I get three. One, two, three. Then I get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I get one rad. And I level Which up. Which also gives you an XP. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know which is better, healing from radiation or XP from radiation. But I suppose I don't have to worry about anti-rads. Is this the discard pile? No, that's the unique asset. So we'll put the discard pile up here for this, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they get, like, I doubt they have to be shuffled back in. No. Um, and I gain uh, the well rested. And I level up, so I get to pick two of these little goobers. Uh, so oh, their intelligence. Yeah, so it actually just fucking tells you. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. Oh well. Um, so now so I get now to... you have to pick a perk. Uh, yeah. So you pick either a strength or intelligence perk. So you can search. Oh okay. And then you actually choose which one to take. I can pick any of these. So... Okay. A strength or an intelligence perk. All right. So armor. Discard at a to gain a parallel item. Discard? Discard? What does that mean? What? So, hang on, I'll just pull them out so you can see them. Oh, these are like the actual ones from the game. Yeah, so perks are like one off. You use them, and oh, then you, you can gain them? a new perk. Yeah. So like this one, you would discard it at a town to gain an apparel item from the shop or from any discard. Oh, I get you. Discard one movement point. Oh, discard to gain one movement point. Until the end of turn, uh, each time you move into a space, it has an enemy whose level is equal to or lower than your power, uh, shield. Kill that enemy. A <laughs> pain train. So you can just... You could just, like, roll over dudes if you had some good armor. Discard to level up. Keep both special tokens. If you gain a perk, you cannot choose... If you gain a perk, you cannot choose Swift Learner. Okay, I'm going to take Swift Learner. <laughs> uh, 100%. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of how Swift Learner works. It doesn't yeah. do much, but it gets you an extra level. So, I no, that gives me two... Like, discard to level up. Keep both special tokens. So, you get two of yeah, them. Yeah, so... These two go back in. Yep. And shuffle. And shuffle and now two. draw two. Uh, intelligence and charisma. So charisma gets added. And then I get another perk for intelligence. Uh, yep. So now you can choose another intelligence perk, but you cannot choose Swift Learner again. So I guess you'll have to take what second option. I think there's only two. Yeah, there's only two. Which is kind of a uh, dumb. But where was it? Gun nut. Uh, discard at a thing to gain a weapon item from the shop pile or from any discarded shop. Okay, so this is a shop pile up here? Yeah, yeah, this is the shop. And I suppose you could technically if something had been discarded. So how do you get more things? Can you sell these then in a shop or something like that? Hmm. Okay, so it is important to have the discard pile because... You can search through that discard pile and take something out of it. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, buying and selling. To buy an asset, spend the number of caps equal to the cost. Uh, to sell, discard it from your inventory at the appropriate discard pile and gain caps equal to one less than the item's cost. So you could sell these for one each. Well, they're completely useless to me, so... Yeah. Um... Oh. Uh, when you camp, if you do not have an estimated discard, that's going to go to. Oh, wait, no, that's dumb. Okay. Um. Yeah, both of them I have, which is silly. Um. Uh. Okay. Remember when they're going to make a Fallout MMO, but there's a pulled copyright infringement on Interplay. The people who made Fallout, yeah, I remember that shit. Um, all right, so that's me, I guess. Full HP Dave. Um, and that's the end of the, the round, yeah? So we flip one of these. Uh, okay, Brotherhood moves. Uh, I guess they move here, yeah? Uh, yep. And that's it. All right, uh, so... 
And now I go first, yeah? Yes. All right. So, um... Uh, one, two. She puts me at Ashberry. Now, what does my super mutant thing do? If anything. I don't think it does anything unless it comes up. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to... Can I buy this anti rat away? Mm. I'm going to sell both of these. Uh, you used your well rested, didn't you? No, no, I got another one. I just rested, so just now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just like, hey, you know. I'm going to sell both of these. Okay, oh, so two. you gain two caps. There's your caps, good sir. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to spend. So I guess when you when you when you buy something from here, it adds a new asset out. Ah, right? uh, yeah. Once you've finished buying. Mm -hmm. I believe buying is actually an action. Uh, shopping, I think is what it's called. Uh, explore, um, move, quest, encounter, fight, camp. It might be camping. Shop. Uh, I don't, I don't no. think it's an action. Uh, when performing an encounter at a settlement, you will often get the chance to sell or buy or recruit. When oh, this happens, can... draw one. Oh, so you have to do an encounter. You have to do a town encounter. And you have to get the shop. Right then. Well, I resolved. will do an account settlement encounter then. So you read it, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, but because they're scratched, it doesn't matter. So, okay. shouting match is just beginning when you arrive in the town square. He openly admitted to being a synth. <laughs> a young man shrinks away from a crowd as it grows hostile. So, if you are a synth, you have to do one. Mm, don't get involved and go to the market. <laughs> Hey, I have charisma and intelligence. <laughs> hey guys, oh, it's me, the friendly it. superhuman. <laughs> uh, it's Aunt Lily. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> don't fucking remind me of that one. Um, I'm gonna attempt three. No one's done a test yet, so I might as well try it. So I need four. Okay. Um, so I can re-roll three dice because I have well rested and I have charisma and intelligence. So. <sighs> Uh, so you got two hits, so you can re-roll as many as you want using your well rested or your charisma or your intelligence. It's not like can I do them one at a time? Re -roll. Can I re-roll um, this dice and then re-roll again if it doesn't come up? Yes, but you would have to use one of your three things. So, you, like for example, if you your charisma one, if you want to use your charisma to re-roll one, you would like flip this so you're like, and then remind you yourself. Have... Oh, and then you have to and that. That stays until you camp, yeah? No, no. No, no. It's just so that you you know how many of your possible rerolls you've used. So you've used one reroll here to reroll one dice. Okay. So now, now you've got one reroll left, but you need to hit a two on at least one of these. Uh... And you can reroll as many as you want. So you could reroll all three and just, you know, throw it to fate. How many... How many, like, what, how many things are on the dice? Uh, let's look at one of mine. So, I've got one success, one success, none. How many one, double successes are there? Two. So there's one with two, there's three with one, and there's two with zero. Well, I need four, right? So my highest chance of success is to roll a 1d6 and get a six, I guess, right? Like... Whatever that is. Um, Basically. Or you could re-roll 3d6 and try to get two sixes. Or 2d6 and try for two sixes. Because there's no middle ground. I either pass or I fail, right? So I might as well re-roll all three of them by the sounds of things. Hey. Uh, two, <laughs> hey. three, four. So, all hey. right. so you get a success. <laughs> all right. State three. All right. Uh, succeed. Convinced for the time being, the crowd is... Yeah, that's actually kind of cool that that super, super mutant didn't eat our oh, faces. You become vilified. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like it. Though. It's like, yeah, he's right, but I fucking hate him. Man. <laughs> Jesus. All right. 
Super Mutant Animated. Oh, man. So I can shop, which is good. Uh, yep. Um, and we add 11. All right, so, and so also I'm the science... I'm guessing you'll, you'll have an opportunity to re-encounter that synth out in the waste, in the town at some point. He'll be like, hey, thanks, thanks for, for telling me. Yeah, um, also this thing here is kind of interesting too because any um, any town I can do, like, do I, is this a part of it or is this a different thing? Uh, so at life. any town you can... Can I just make that doing check? Doing an intelligence luck four. Can I just make that check? Is that how that works? Uh, is it? Do you just make the check or is it actually an encounter? I assumed you had to do an encounter for it. Otherwise, I would have done it when I entered the town. I mean, I like I assume when I do an encounter in the town, right? I don't think it'd be a separate encounter, right? Like, that's what I'm asking. Like, uh, I... they're in two in kind of encounters icons. Uh, cards in the settlement deck allow you to buy and sell things in the shop, track and search for things settlements. To resolve an encounter, that. Encounter action. There's a whole lot of nothing out there. Key location, still have pre-war artifacts. If you're in a space marked with an encounter icon, you can perform an encounter action to resolve an encounter card from the deck matching that encounter icon. You can only encounter each location once per turn and cannot perform this action if you're in the same space as an enemy. Okay. But what, it, like, is that, is the quest a part of the encounter action that I just took? Uh... Activates on any, at any shop, uh, at any settlement. I think it actually is a separate thing. Like you have to activate this. I mean, it does make the most the sense encounter. that it being a separate thing, right? So. Yeah, um, I think that is how it works. Where's the quest page? Quest markers. No. Uh, page nine. Encounter actions. Okay, uh, all quests available for you listed face up in the area, blah, blah, blah. Uh, each objective has its own unique requirements. Some uh, might provide a name or a space or a type of a space the map you must figure in. Some are marked with a cog, which is that is, indicating that you must perform the quest action. Okay, so it's a quest action. Okay, so, so yeah, it's, anything... it's like an encounter action, but it's slightly separate. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, anything with that cog means that you have to specifically spend an action to do it. Uh, so I get to do shopping now, so that's good. Uh, did you add 11? I'm doing that right now. How do you get rid of... Has been added to... How do you get rid of vilified? Do something nice. So I just, like the entire wasteland now hates me because I hate it, because I told a synth that he's probably just a human. That's yeah. interesting. I mean, um, that's kind of weird, but I guess it's a bold game. The, so. Once the crowd has its blood up, man, they want to kill something. They, 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 right. they, you convince them not to kill the dude, so now they're like, well, what if we kill the super mutant? Mm, I like it. I'm going to buy that, um, the cap, uh, the right away. And yeah, this gets trashed. Um, and then another thing comes out straight away, yeah? Uh, no, once you've finished your shop action, you refresh it. Okay, which I have. Formal wear. <laughs> I need to get that just because I need to have it as a super mutant. Uh, <laughs> it costs seven. Although it's armor one, so... That's, Ignore I... all companion requirements. During a test that uses C, so, add like, one there's hit. one... The one here where it's... Where is it? The signs of life, Vault 84, requires a companion. So if yeah. you were wearing that, you wouldn't need to have it. <laughs> burn it, burn you it. Put a suit na, na. <laughs> it's like I could have someone help me lift this up, or I could just look really fancy. Mmm, I like it. Okay, cool. 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 Alright. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 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 Alright. That is my turn. It is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. So I would like to camp and heal for three. Yeah. Because, ouch. You wait for then, 11 hours uh, at the front of Megaton. How many times have I <laughs> fucking done that before? <laughs> <laughs> Lots, actually. Lots. Uh, I need to get four. I have luck. 
Is he like one of the West Coast mutants that has that need leather strap for his lip? Hmm, maybe. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to look for signs of life. There are some exiles from the vault around town. One of them might be able to show you how to use it. So, so you got to do a check. Remember, you got I have villa. luck. You have that. You have well rested because you can't. I, I already. Oh yeah, I camp, so I get well rested. So I have luck and well rested, and I need to hit a. You hit a four, yeah. Yep. Boom. Okay, nope. so that's one. So okay, yep. My luck. I'm to re-roll all of them. Ooh. And then that's the well rested. Well rested. Yeah. Roll all of them. Ew. That's like three. Close. That's was, actually was really hard to hit with three dice. Like, I'm actually surprised yeah. I managed to get that on mine, to be honest with you. But yeah, wasn't great. Yeah. But all right, so that was my turn. I healed and I just kind of wandered around town. <laughs> you tried to hack that computer that's in the back of the Megaton bar to work out who the fuck this dude is, but you know. Um, okay then, uh, hmm. I mean, how many can I have in my hand? Four, right? Four agendas? Uh, four agendas, yes. And every time that I have one in my hand, it counts as a victory point? Is that how that works? Uh, you need... To have them completed? We need to get to ten... I don't see how that fucking works when there's only like 10... Uh, an agenda card automatically grants a single influence and grant, can grant additional influence if you meet the condition outlined on the card. So, for example, this one, that your security one that you played, it's worth one. Mm. It's also worth an additional one for each space that the shield has advanced further than the star. Wait, so, so... it's worth three. Okay. So I wasn't supposed to grab extra ones then. Because I grabbed extra ones. I thought that was how we did it. I wish there was like a marker or something like that for that. But yeah, I guess that makes it. So at the end of the game, we count that, yeah? I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, completing quests can grant you a gender card. So yeah, you shouldn't have picked up new ones when you took... When you played this one out. Okay. So what do you want it's me to only, do? It's completing quests that grant you new agendas. I'll tell you what so, I did. I mean, just put them back into here and shuffle it. Well, I, I should have got one because I did um, that extra thing. Well, which one was it? Well, that's what I'm saying. I just shuffled them and put two back, yeah? Cool. Yeah. Okay. So completing that quest gained you one agenda. So you, I guess you have to complete quests to gain new agendas. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't have any agendas. Can you discard agendas? Like if you don't like it, uh, one you have? You can have a maximum of four agenda cards in your hand. If you draw a fifth one, choose one and shuffle it back into the deck. So yes, but you have to get to four first. Okay. All right, my turn. All right, then I will, I guess, attempt that check. I mean, why not? Might as well camp as well. Um, um, yeah. Um, hmm. Bunch of campers. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Um, Aren't you at full health? Oh, did you want it for the the re Yeah, the re-roll, yeah. Thinking about it. See, I don't know how important the agendas are to, like, say, leveling up and doing all these other quests, right? You know? like. Well, yeah, it seems like game victory is agenda, but yeah. leveling up is keeping you alive. Yeah, uh, okay, well, I guess... I think I... if one of the dudes reaches the bottom of the track, they win. One of the dudes reaches the bottom If a faction's the token the... ever reaches the final space of the track, that faction has gained enough power to take over the wasteland, the game ends. Mm. That token advanced, granting any survivors enough influence to win the game, they can declare victory 
and end the game first. If no survivors reach the required amount of influence, the faction that reached the end wins the game and all survivors. That's kind of interesting, Ben. Like, why would you do that, I guess? Hmm. Okay, well, in that case... Um... I mean, I might as well attempt it. I'll give one attempt at it. Why not? Well, you can only encounter the place once per turn anyway, so... Yeah. Um, what is this one? That's on four. So. Uh, it's a four, so yeah. it's that one, one hit. Okay. Uh, what is it? Uh, I and an L? Yeah. Um, I will, I guess, re-roll. Yeah, no luck. Um, okay. Uh, well, then I will spend... I will move. Um, one, two... And I fight you. Oh. Hey, Superman. <laughs> <boy. How you laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's me. That's me, me. Uh, okay. It's a very slow paced game, very casually slow moving game. What would you like to do? Um, I guess I will make an attempt. This, this game kind of feels a little like if you play Civilization with an AI buddy that you share all your technology with all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or a friend or something like that. I guess I... Yeah. This isn't great stuff, is it? Like It's like I could try it, but I'll guess I'll camp mm -hmm. to gain three HP yep. and well rested. Yep, and, you and might then I will it. attempt that again. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And the others. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Hey, you did it. Four. So you get. Um... So I gain an agenda, and we add seventy-one. So you have to do that, right? The encounter. Or does that mean you just have to be at that space? Yeah, I just have to be it here. I have to do an ac a quest action at any settlement. Yeah, so you gain another agenda. Yep. So um, let's just shuffle in one mm -hmm. off. Yep. Um, and you have to find one zero seven one. A uh, zero seven one. And you add it to yep. the. To whichever it's settlement. It, it'll be on the back of the card. Okay. Yep. Fifty, seventy, seventy-one. 70, How do you so know so much goes... about Fallout Ragtag? What the hell? <laughs> uh, uh, where does that go then? Does that go... But this one? It's a, it's a new one, I guess. Wait, did you add... Yeah, no, so... that's, that's 71 though. That's not... That's 84. No, that's Vault 84. The card itself is 71. Okay, so that... I guess we just... Um, so this can only be activated in Vault 84. There is actually something about this in here. Let me find it. Uh, I think it would go in the settlement then, right? Because the vaults are a settlement. No, I think I think it's a third deck separate. Hmm. You have to actually go to Vault 84 to activate it. Oh, so it's a location-specific thing then? Yeah, and Wait. then if, if we get more Vault 84 cards, they get shuffled in with it, so more things can happen in Vault 84. Oh, shit. Okay. That's cool. Uh, it was just, I saw something about vault vault encounters uh, vault 84 is like over here I didn't realize that yeah well there was nothing we could actually do there because we had no way to get in mm-hmm but now that we've spoken to the dudes in town about the vault, 
they're like, oh yeah, it's it's just over there. So I guess I guess what this means is it is its own thing, right? Like it goes there. Yeah. You so go there and then you spend two, an yeah. action to like do whatever's in that pile, yeah? Yep. That's, Which in this case is just literally that one card. That's how I assume it works. So okay. Yeah. Alright then. Um so that was what and your, this that was your trashed. second action, yeah. Yes. Okay. Alright then. And now we do bad guy's turn. So, so the star uh, moves forwards one. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. And the super mutants, but there are none. So are they ranged? It. They are ranged. Can he get... No, he can't. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait. So the Brotherhood Paladin has loot, but the other guy has... What's that one? Uh, he's aggressive, so if he enters your space, he will attack you no matter what. The Enclave? Even if I'm allied with them? Uh, no, no. Uh, when this enemy moves into your space or you move into its space, you immediately fight it. This fight is not an action. So it's like if you move into his space and you're not allied with him, it's an immediate fight whether you want to fight it or not. Like I moved through this mm. bug earlier because it's not aggressive. I just walked past it. You can't just walk past the Enclave. Right, okay. And this guy here, this Raider Psycho, you can't just walk past him either. Yep, that makes uh, sense. Yep, he will automatically attack you. All right, then. Mind, uh, you go first, I guess, this turn. Uh, yep, cool. So I don't think there's much else for me to do in town because like, I don't have the money to buy anything. Uh, you can buy health. Oh, no, you can't buy health. That's fine. No, I only started. You can buy some so... of these barbarian things, right? Do they let you go through the discard pile? No, they're, they're discarded. Okay. Um... So I can I go to Project right Purity away. or an Enclave, or I can go to the Tower. Go to Hoffman's Farm or Highway 70. You can also just explore. Or you should go to 8 Vault 84, too. That would actually take my entire turn, though, because it would be one move, two move to there, and then I'd need two move to move into the red. Um, yeah, well, I mean... Dems the brakes. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah, so one... So I'm going to spend both my actions as mm -hmm. movement. So one, two, three. I've got an extra action movement, but I'm not going to move. Uh, well, I'm going to do the same. And then... Hey, buddy. Bad guys Then go. you go first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew that. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, it's the bad guys. Stars and bandits. Okay, so star moves here. That's the other reason I wanted to move. Get a bit further away from the brother. Yeah, um, and bandits, right? So bandits here, I guess. Flippy flip here. And that's it. Is there anything else on that one? Nope, no robots out. Okay. All right, my turn. I'm going to do the action. Okay. A figure stands with open arms and flanking guts behind the door. Welcome to Vault 84. I'm the Overseer Hayes, the leader of this vault. And we haven't let in outsiders in over 100 years. Is this what you people look like? Because, man, you're big and green. My God, what happened out here? <laughs> is, is that man behind you rotting? Why are you eight feet tall? Zap smooth skin. Uh, yeah, um, we haven't let in outsiders over a hundred years, so I hope you realize how exceptional this is. But after certain recent events, well, let's just say when your when your stolen pit boy is connected, I saw an opportunity. Mm. Thank her and ask about mm -hmm. the rules of the vault. Walk away. Uh, I will do one. <laughs> your stolen pit boy. Gee, that isn't very. Uh, okay, don't oh, start any it. trouble, and you should be fine. However, we have an annual vote to exile dangerous people from the vault. <laughs> an annual vote. Oh, uh, no, it's really that dangerous. Fuck it, Bob, you're out. <laughs> uh, even with my blessing, you are not immune. Shuffle uh, cards 72 through 79 and randomly add a number of them equal to survivors, then trash the rest. Okay, 72 through 79, shuffle them, and then add two of them to the deck. 
and yep. trash this one. So technically, you're not right. You're not missing out. I can't explore again, right? Like I just can't do that. No, you can't. You can't explore the same location more than once on turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so seventy-two to seventy-nine. Uh, yes, yeah, seventy-two through seventy-nine. This is actually pretty thematical. Like, it's surprising me a little bit. I thought it'd be like Pathfinder, you know, like decks and decks of shit. But surprisingly. This library is so laggy. Like, I've already pulled all the cards out and I'm still seeing them popping out. Mm -hmm. Don't understand why it's just this. Uh, maybe it's because each card has, like, stages. Set state still them and stuff like that? Yeah. Probably. Okay, so now we add the number equal to the number of players. Yeah, so uh, you, you shuffle them. equal to survivors and then trash the rest. So we get two. So shuffle them. Oh, you have? Okay, yep. Yep. And then we get two. And then this one and will the just... the rest get trashed. trashed. Yeah, so just put them in a bin somewhere. Okay. Um... All right. So on my second turn, um, what else can you do? Uh, do you want to trade? You got nothing to trade though. So, um, I guess that's really all you can. Oh, uh, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna take the well rested. I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's kind of a thing. It's like, well, I've got nothing else to do. I may as well. Mm -hmm. I stand around for 11 hours waiting for the super, uh, <laughs> waiting for the ghoul to take a turn. Alright, uh, well, I mean, I'm here, so I may as well encounter the vault. What you get, boy? Ah, uh, you enter what is clearly a medical bay and jump at the sight of a multi-limbed robot wielding syringes, scalpels, and other medical implements. The robot tuts at the sight of you. You have taken such poor care of your body. <laughs> I can fix that for you. <laughs> No shit. <laughs> uh, okay, let the robot fix you up. Ask the robot if it's involved in this whole vote thing. Oh, dude. LL? Wait. So L gets two. Uh, so I can reroll re with luck twice. Oh, fuck. That seems like you should do that. I have well rest. Yeah, so you I'm should. Gonna, I'm going to do it. Gonna do it. Yeah. Do so. Hey, Mr. Handy. Uh, okay. So that's one. one. Uh, you need four, that yeah, to get that. Yeah, so I'm gonna re-roll two of these. You should probably separate them a little bit because they don't really. Okay. Shit. I yeah. did not want that. So that's so this is my last re-roll. Oh, that's my second re-roll. So yeah. I'm gonna re-roll again. I'm gonna re-roll all of them. Okay, and then you got God. the well rested that you can do now as well. Yep. So I re-roll two. It's actually really hard to hit four. It is. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Well, um, so nothing happens, right? So what? Uh, this no. So this was a test. So we actually reveal state two. Fail. Oh heavens, no. He's not involved. Trash. And it gets trashed. <laughs> oh heavens, no. Boop a doop a doo. Bow bow bow. All right. Um. So, uh, I'll pass this uh, and then back. I. Camp? Second action, I will rest. Yeah. Uh, no, I can only go up to 12 HP. So, is that right? Yeah. yeah 12. And then you get your well rest. And I'll get back. my well rest. Cool. Agenda uh, shield and bugs. And bugs. Uh, do they come in? I think they do. I think they ignore. How do, okay, so how do they. They have to be able to ignore this if they can only move one at a time. Yeah. Some space is up to rain that affects a survivor who moves into that space. Right, okay, so that one would go there then, and that one would go there. He's in the same space as us, so we can just move you back a bit. Like so, this flips, this goes here, this goes here. And that seems about it. Dude, we're surrounded by bugs. Okay, uh, hang on, Red Scorpion, so he has moved into our space. He will attack. He attacks you because you have the least amount of health. Yep, so he attacks the lowest HP survivor, which will probably always be me. <laughs> Smooth skin. 
I think your skin's probably smoother than mine. My, uh, so sk hit my skin is ripped for her pleasure, it. okay? Jeez. <laughs> uh, are you fucking serious? Just get three torso hits. Yeah, why not? I need to hit it in the arms or legs. All right, so <laughs> you can re-roll that hit on you. You can actually re-roll three if you want. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use my well-rested to re-roll all three. Uh, yep, you got torso. Uh, there we go. But you and took take three, three damage. And you gain one experience point, and what's that other icon on there? Oh, a retreat. Okay, well, it doesn't retreat, so. Yeah, so he dies. I gain one XP. You shuffle him back in, pull another dude out, put him in that pathway that's right there. Okay. Uh, I gain one XP, so I do level up, thankfully. Catching up, maybe. You should, if you get intelligence, you should think about taking that special perk. Instead. Well, I don't actually have intelligence, so I won't be able to get the perk. But well, I could take can't you... strength, and I could get the strength perk. There is actually one in there for armor, for strength. Like, if you go to the shop, and there is two armor up there right now. Yeah. Um, I have to go to the shop. Where's... Uh... I think it's only moving into red that costs extra terrain. Uh, extra movement. Yeah, it's the same as radiation, I assume, right? Uh, you must spend two points of movement to move into this space, yeah, but moving out doesn't matter. Mm hmm. So you're taking intelligence or you're taking uh, strength? During a fight, you may lose well rested to add one hit instead of generating one reroll. That's not bad. So that's only a fight, though. So you can't use it in tricks or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, if I can fight, and it's got armor too, so I believe that... I think, honestly, the formal wear is probably better, but... Because then you can um, use it in companion tests. Uh, the apparel you fight. have equipped can provide you with armor, which is shown as a value in the armor icon. When resolving a fight, you cancel a number of icons on the dice equal to the value of armor you have equipped. So that would ignore... That's like two damage soak forever. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Yeah, that actually I think I'm going to take the strength perk. All right. I'll put these two dudes back then. Uh, where is it? I got one for guns, so. Guns. Uh, there it is. Armor. Cool. All right. It's weird because there's like... You can't have a duplicate of that. So... You know. All right. Uh, my turn. I will uh, do the do. The do. All right. A woman in a lab coat inspects you as you enter the vault lab. I heard outside has been let in. And so soon before the vote, she sees you eyeing her pit boy. You can have one. If you let me run some tests on you, you'll be exposed to very little radiation. Relatively. I mean, I'd be happy to do radiation getting. <laughs> I'm happy to take radiation as well. I know, because you fucking level up off it. That's actually, <laughs> I think, I'm I'm still not sure. Like, the fact that I don't have to worry about Camping radiation... is so easy, though. Camping is so easy. Like, yeah, but I, I'd nev I never have to buy right away. I never have to be worried about being irradiated. All right, I agree to the test. So, state one. Dr. Merkin straps you in with obvious glee. After she finishes, she gives you a pit boy. Gain pit boy unique ash set. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, that's in this pile here. Hang on. Yep. Dude, there are some fucking things in there. <laughs> there are some fucking things in there. You can now look at a face down side of any map tile or inactive enemy on the map at any point at any time. Okay. Okay, and this is the last one, so we add eighty. Yeah. To the deck. I, I love that which neither. I, which I'm going to assume is the vote. I'm surprised that I didn't get to level up because of the radiation. Like that seems like take two points of radiation. Like they should have just done that because there are characters in this game that benefit from being re. You know. 
against radiation yeah, I mean, and stuff like that, you know? Like, like Either of us, like, you level up, I heal. We both feel like, fuck yeah, radiate me. Yeah, just fucking slam those needles into my bicep, lady. Let's go. Like, she did say relatively... plutonium rod? Go for it. <laughs> you want to peg me with that thing? Fine, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, so you've added the last card over there. Yeah, which um, I'm, I'm going to assume that's the vote, and because we're both vilified, they're going to kick both out if we activate it. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I just realized these guys aren't human. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what gave it away, smooth skin? Man. I irradiated him, and nothing happened. <laughs> he should be dead. Technically, when I irradiate all my previous subjects, they turn into big green monsters. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! All right. Um. So for my last action, then um, let's see how much how much XP. So what does this red roach do for radiation? Uh, when it damages you, uh, when this enemy hits you for any amount of damage, suffer rads equal to the enemy's level. So if he hits you, you'll take one rad. Oh shit, dude! You should be fighting that dude, man. What are you doing? Well, well no, it's it, when he hits you for any amount of damage. So if he hits me for ten damage, I still only gain one rad. Oh, I thought it was like it swapped it. Yeah. But super mutants require food, whatever that means. I'm a super mutant with a pit boy and a wrench. Um. I don't know what I want to do here. I kind of want to stay here and see what happens. Fuck it, man. I will stay here. I'm not going to do anything for the rest of my turn. Um, you may look at any face down. Su okay. Uh, well, I will. T uh, I don't know how to do this. I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just take a look at this. Why not? Is this gonna work? I mean, it doesn't Probably really matter. Not. Like, fuck it. Like, I don't care if you see it. Uh, you know, I, I've moved. i moved out of the way. Let me know when I can look back. Uh, you can look back. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I mean, they're red for a reason, right? Yes. <laughs> they are red for a reason. Forced evolutionary virus. Oh, okay. Look, man. Look, you want to fight me? I'll fight you at dawn. We'll, we'll bring pistols. Let's go. All right. Uh, that was... It's your turn now, I guess. No, wait. No, yep. you went first, so... Uh, no, yeah, that's right. I went first, so... <clears throat> Agenda. Untouchable. Oh, skulls go and super mutants and robots, but skulls. Okay, so this guy goes, fights you. Yep. Um, cool. So, boom. And this guy goes there. Right. Uh, you take four damage. And I... Legs and torso, so one, two, three. Yeah, so I yep. kill him. And right. I take four damage. So... Oh, no, no, no you level take one? eight. Yeah, you take eight damage. <laughs> oh, shit, really, dude? Oh, yeah. man. So what happens when you die in this game? Uh, you basically respawn where you started. Oh, Effectively. And uh, you so lose all again, your... Again, 2 XP. Mm -hmm. and uh, you also get a loot. loot. Yeah, you get a loot too. Might save my life. Combat knife! Ha-ha! <laughs> a and A, which you don't have. That'd be really cool. Uh, during a fight, each time you spend a... Oh, spend a result. Okay, so every time you use a result to hit him with it, I guess, right? Okay, yep. yeah. Suffer one damage. Okay, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Um, all right, so we need to bring another human. Um, one, two, three. I have one, no two, reason three. to equip that. Why? Because I can't get the rerolls off it. So there's no reason to equip it. Sure. It's yeah. just... Yep. Alright. Um, uh, my turn, <clears> I guess. 
<clears throat> uh, I will um, explore. Fuck it. I'll see the last card. Do you, do you think the doctor lady will irradiate me? Maybe. Uh, a time <laughs> for the vote has come. Everyone in vote 84 gathers in the main hall and begins casting votes into a large metal box. Many people glare at the outsider's presence. This is not looking good for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, participate in the vote. Survivors on vote 84 with the most endorsements draws two thingies. Oh, shit, dude. That's awesome. Each survivor on alt vote 84 with the fewest endorsements suffers three damage and moves one space. <laughs> uh, okay, how do you get endorsements? No one, we, none of us have endorsements, I guess. If if more than one survivor on vote eighty four is tied, for I'm the, gonna guess either that you know th that's how you get votes, right? On this. Succeed. Keep this card. It is an endorsement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, if more than one survivor on the vote is tied for the most endorsements, each draws one. I, I mean, technically, uh, each survivor with the fewest endorsements. We both have zero, so we both take three damage and are moved one space. You die though. <laughs> yep. So. So what happens? Do you lose all your special upgrades and shit? Is that how that works? Hang on. So like... Hang on. Let me. Cause that'd suck. Fight action. If you're killed, place your figure on any space on the crossroads camp map tile. Discard all cards in your inventory, keeping any equipped cards, and recover all HP. Uh, by moving the red peg back to the highest number on the track, when you are killed, do not recover rads. After you recover your HP, if you are still killed because your rads are in the <laughs> highest hole, you lose the game and are eliminated. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're pretty much invulnerable then, by the sounds of things. So you just lose your inventory, which is this. I should have had it equipped because I keep any anything that's equipped. Yeah, and you lose. I, you lose the. If I had perk? if I had have known that I could have lost it like that, it, yeah. Do you lose the perk? Uh, keeping, discard all cards in your inventory, keeping any equipped cards, and recover all HP. Does the, does the, where does the perk go? Let's check. Uh, it'll be under leveling up where it tells you where it goes. Draw to rare, uh, perk cards. Perk cards represent powerful one-time abilities. Discard it during your turn to gain the effects. You cannot discard it while you're in the middle of performing an action. I... I don't think it is. I think it's just like a... Um... Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, you don't lose your special stats or anything like that. So would yeah. you lose the perk as well? Like, it's I mean, not an, it's I not an I item. It, I don't think so, right? Like, I mean, the only reason why that might be a per uh, important is because... Um, you can hold on to a, uh, that and no one else can have it, right? So, but it doesn't really say anything about it. So, what does death say about it? It says you lose your hand. Do you lose all your agendas as well? No. Discard all cards in your inventory, keeping any equipped cards, and recover all HP. So, it's anything in here. Okay. This is your inventory. I just don't know if that goes in the inventory or not. I don't think it would, but... Okay. Well, I, I doubt it because you can only have four items in your inventory, isn't it? Yeah. So we take uh, three damage. Three. You can have three. Oh no! You can have up to three cards equipped at any time. One apparel, one weapon, and one companion. Indicated by the slots on your player board. Equipped cards do not count to your inventory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is this isn't actually where this card goes. The identity card should be somewhere else. Cause this is actually your armor slot. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, there you go. <clears throat> that makes sense. Oh, actually, you know, what? Oh, no, that's agenda cards. Just put it out the I guess there. I'll just put it over here somewhere so it's yeah. far away. I mean, that's where the agenda card goes. But yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um. Okay. Cool. Well. Um. Yeah. Well, that sucks. So. You go back to... Uh, yeah, I respawn anywhere in the crossroads camp. And pile. I get moved out one and I take three damage. One, two, three. Okay. 
All right then. Um, so my second action, since I'm on that space, I might as well do that other quest. Uh, and this gets trashed. So Vault 84 has closed itself off to us. Goodbye. Have... Good riddance. That, that place sucked. I got a Vault Boy out of it, so it's not so bad. Pit Boy. Um, Brahmin have been disappearing from the Hoffman Farm, so we circulated. Okay. Um, activate an old radio signal monitor at night. E and I, which I have, and I need to get three. So I got four. I got three rerolls, basically. And I need three. Okay, we're good. Um, so that would use an endurance, but whatever. Um, okay, so stage 104 and place your figure on that card. Oh, do I get sucked into I think, space? I think, you've, <laughs> I think you've been abducted. Oh, that's cool. All right, but I get an agenda, so cool. So I'll take an agenda, the last agenda. Uh, what was it? One oh, stage 104. 104, yeah. Uh, boop. There you go. And then we you add 105 as well. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm on the mothership. Awesome. See you, nerds. <laughs> All right. The radio gets a response. You accidentally contacted that alien ship. Survivors on the mothership can perform only actions on this card. <laughs> oh, okay. Time to get probed. Yeah. Fight your way down to the bridge and bring the ship down to escape. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, that is so fucking cool. I mean, it's literally the mothership. Yeah, expansion. that's cool. All that. Attempt to communicate with the aliens and make a deal. Place a cap on this card. Oh, hey, no, no. Oh, get dude, the... that's cool. So I can just keep. I can stay up here and tra keep trying to make charisma checks. And every time that I do it, it, it adds a cap to the card. And then at the end... And once you place the third one, you gain an agenda, trash the card, and then place yourself wherever you want. So oh, so I don't, I don't get money. To... Okay. Yeah. yeah, you just have to spend three turns there basically doing a I can't, I can't, charisma check. I kind of want to fight the aliens. <laughs> I mean, so when you draw and fight the radar, it gains the radiation icon. So you'll be gaining yeah. more XP as well. And if yeah. you succeed, you get even more XP. Then test intelligence four, but that's super hard to do. Though I technically I would have two rerolls if I did it. All right. Um,. That doesn't look like it's an icon, though. Like, I don't have to do anything. So, there's no, like, cog there, so I don't have to do a quest. I just fight, right? Yeah, so you do a fight, which is not a... Active, uh, a I thing. Believe, I, believe, I believe you can fight more than once. You just you can only encounter once per turn, but you can fight more than once per turn. So, because there's no cog there, is it an action to do it? Can I just do it now? Yeah, fight. Fight and attempt to kill an enemy in your space is an action. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Well, I'll wait for the next turn then. Guess I'm hanging out with the uh, Korean samurai. Uh, the, the Japanese samurai, the cowboy. Or, uh, the astronaut? Was it an wait. astronaut? No, that's this is that was your first action, wasn't it? Activating the no, radio? No, it was my second action because I did the um, vault thing. Oh, that's right, yeah. And that gets trashed. Really? What happens at the end of that? Okay, yeah, you added uh, you added one hundred five. What was one hundred five? A settlement or a wasteland? Uh, wasteland. Okay. Did you add uh, refresh the two, whatever it was? Yep. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. All right then. Uh, so that's me. Um, man, this is actually surprisingly good. <laughs> uh, your turn, Doc. I mean, okay. says you, who's been invited into a vault, given a pit boy, abducted by aliens and shit. What did I get? I got murdered. All right. <laughs> the big green guy is fun, but this guy's gross. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was cowboy, samurai, anchorage medic, and a little girl and a raider. Ah, oh, I thought it was an astronaut as well. Okay, yeah, I don't remember it clearly. Uh, what would you like to do, Doc? Uh, I'm gonna move to Super Duper Mart. 
and do the encounter. One, two, yeah. and I'm going to encounter. Yeah, boy. Q right. scavengers have gathered their findings and placed them as bets. First to make it back, uh, make it to the far side of the complex and back win. What the fuck? So join the race. I get all of my things, but I need to hit a six. How the f You can't even hit a six. Oh, no, you just keep you rolling. Can. You'd need to get a two on all three. Dude, do the race. Come on. So I'd, I'd have to get three six on three sixes with three re-rolls. Do the fucking race, man. Come on. Or I can train on the course after they're done. Alternatively, I can hold back and take their stuff. <laughs> that is such a fucking fallout move. You guys go have fun. I'll be here. Hey, did that guy take our clothes? I'll, I'll watch your stuff. You're like the guy on the fucking beach who lets everyone go skinny dipping and takes their mobile phones. Fuck that guy. And their pants. Um, do the race, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know, man. Having to hit three sixes. Come on. Come on. Do it. Three sixes, dude. Do it. I... Mm. And they'll probably fucking murder me if I do. They'll be like, <laughs> hey, this asshole's cheating. <laughs> I'd like to actually get something. So I'm going to... You're going to take gonna that shit? On... No, I'm going to train on the course after they're done. Okay, it probably adds it back into the thing. All right. You don't want to risk uh, anything. You don't want to risk anything, but the practice after they're done teaches you a few things. I get 2 XP and a loot. Oh, that's not so bad. I mean, that's okay. I'm sure the other things would have been much better. One, But two, that levels three. me up. Yeah. No, no, two. So it's one to there, and then two gets me back to here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I, I do gain a level, and, and I'm going to take uh, intelligence or perception. I'm going to take intelligence because I don't have it yet. Yeah. Hey, special. <laughs> How do you spell special? And your loot's down here too. And I also found junk. Junk. During your turn, you may discard this card and another junk card to gain one card of your choice from the shop or the discard piles. It's not bad. You need two junk, though. Um, it's just like money, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Except it comes from the discard pile, so I guess it's more like scavenging. Yeah, I mean, there's some good things in there for you, though. Oh, no, not really. You have an S and an I now, so it doesn't help. All right, that was your second turn. Uh, moved act, yes. So let's refresh these bad boys. All right, skull man's. Uh, so he goes there, and this flips and goes there. And was there anything he's else? He's ranged, so he's going to attack me. No, 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 no. He doesn't attack you. He moved, so. Yeah, he's ranged though. Does he attack when he gets into range, or does if he's at range he attacks? Because you know, like he. Moves. Oh no, that's right. If he, yeah. yeah, he won't move into me. To if he moves again, he would attack. Me. Mm -hmm. Is it? Hang mm -hmm. on. Like I think if that's how it works. you get. To, they get one action. They can either move or they can attack. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So cool. All right then. Oh no. Alright, uh, you go first, I guess, this turn. So. Okay. Okay. You gonna do another super duper mark? Uh. I mean, you're gonna get attacked at least once next turn. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. So, actually speaking, you, you wanna get to a town, right? Like, realistically. Because you have your, um,. I do, um, I do. Uh, uh, you know, it's not actually an action. No, it's Shit, not. You I just should... have to be in the town. Yeah. Oh, I, um. Yeah, discard so out of town. One, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, three. So I could get to Megaton. That takes both my actions. Bypassing these guys because they're not aggressive. From the shop. And then discard this to gain an apparel item from the shop or from any discard pile. So you're going to get the combat armor? Fucking yes. I don't want to die again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Load lift a companion robot. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. Dude, companions give you an extra die on a thing. During a test or a fight that uses strength, exhaust one, exhaust and hit and add one hit. 
Um, that's cool. Yeah, so you'd have you'd like you tap it. To Test it. or fight. Yeah, that's cool. While the load lifter is equipped, you may uh, keep two additional cards in your inventory. If you have five plus cards in your inventory, keep this companion when it unexhausts. Okay. Wait. And yeah, to unexhaust them, you rest. Keep this companion when it unexhausts. Okay. Wait, so does normal companions disappear after you rest? That's weird. Okay. No. Uh, some cards must be exhausted to use their abilities. To do this, turn the card 90 degrees. An exhausted card cannot be exhausted again. When instructed to unexhaust a card, turn it 90 degrees upright. When the companion unexhausts, check the conditions listed at the bottom of the card. If you do not meet this condition, that companion is discarded. Okay, so it might be yeah. like if you've got someone that's friendly, like someone that's a good guy, and you become vilified while they're with you, and then they get exhausted, and then it's like, you're vilified now, so I'm leaving. So this one's hard to keep too, because you need five cards in your, in, in your inventory. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so once you've used him, you've got to have stuff for him to carry, All right, I guess. here we go. Yeah, We're going to carry... Find something. We're, um, I'm going to camp first because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, no, I should probably camp after because then I can get well rested and stuff back. Yeah, all right, we'll fight first. Uh, draw and fight a skull man. Skull man. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. It gains a radiated icon, then test one. Okay, so I fight first, so... Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I definitely do enough. And I take one damage uh, and one radiation. Hit legs one, yep. So you take one damage and one radiation. I gain one XP. you also gain two XP, because yep. you get one from the radiation XP as well. Mm -hmm. And you gain a loot. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Drug tripper. Day tripper. During a test that uh, or fight that uses C or L, exhaust and hit one, and add one hit. Uh, then test three endurance. If you fail, you become addicted. <laughs> if you're addicted, you cannot discard this card, and it costs one cap to unexhaust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> that that's super functional. I love it. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now I test I. For four. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's one. I'll flip this. Uh, oop. Uh, and then it's this. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Um, succeed. So if you fail, you remove a cap from this card. So I guess if you were trying to communicate and you were working your way along that, uh -huh. then it would hurt you. And I, I think if we were both here, we both would have been abducted and we could possibly be pursuing separate agendas. Yeah, I guess so. Um, place a figure in any empty space, remove a cap from this card. But I didn't finish it, so I'm still here. Fighting around the world. All right, um... So I'm going to spend my last action. Oh, I can fight again, right? Uh, yeah. So it's not a, it's not an encounter, so you can do it again. You can continue fighting. During your turn, you may discard this card to recover four. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to recover four. Because of that four. Um, fight around the world. Punch the aliens, yeah. Alright, refresh, pull it out. Hey, alright. Um okay. Uh does this does this un unflick unflick? Because I finished the test, yeah? The intelligence, yep. I mean? Okay, cool. Yep, yep. Um yeah. Oh yeah, I fuck him up. Hardcore, and I take no damage. Though I kind of want to take one damage at least. Oh, sorry. When we advance, uh, when we refresh the agenda deck, mm -hmm. both factions 
moved up by one on this track. Oh, they do? Yeah. Over time, they get stronger. Right, okay. Well, I hurt him. I do two damage. Uh, I kind of want to level up again. So I'm going to use my wrench and I'm going to re-roll... I'm going to re-roll this one here, this chest piece. And hopefully you take a damage here. Yeah, alright. So I take one damage, one radiation, and I level up once from the radiation, then I level up twice, so one, two. And then I level up completely, I get a loot, and I get to level up. No! Oop, he went inside that. That's not good. Sorry, pit boy. What the f what the fuck is just like sucking things in right now? Why wasn't that locked? So weird. I'm gonna lock it. Okay. So now it can't hurt anyone any anymore. So what did I get? Intelligence and charisma, which I have both of, so I get some perks instead. Can I take the special again? Uh, the uh. The intelligence one to level up again. Swift learner. If you gain perk, if you gain a perk, you cannot choose swift learner. Wait, what does that mean? Can I take it more than once? Doc? No, no, he's dead. Discard to remove a companion from another player's inventory from the shop. And add it to your inventory, then exhaust each of your companions. Unexhaust each of your companions, ignoring their unexhaust conditions. Hmm. Discard to shop. You may buy and sell as many cards as you want. Oh, okay. So you can only take Swift Learner once, but it says if you gain a perk, you cannot choose Swift Learner. Um. So, I'm guessing, discard to level up, keep both special tokens. If you gain a perk, you cannot choose Swift Learner. Um, I'm not sure what that means. So, I'm going to assume that it works fine. Yeah, I, th I think it's once in that instance. Otherwise, it would be, like, weird. So, I'm going to take the intelligence. And Doc's not here to prove me wrong. So, fuck that guy. Uh, oh. Hang on. Let's see if we can rejoin the call. Hello? Uh, are you saying something? Okay, I'm going to restart Discord. Yeah. Um, Discord. Quit Discord. There we go. Sometimes Discord's an asshole. Constructing additional pylons. Okay. Uh, hmm. hey, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. Good. There, there we go. Um, cool. So, do you think I can take Swift Learner again? Because it, it reads like I can't just take it in the same instance. But uh, If you gain a perk, you cannot choose Swift Learner. So, yes, you can. Okay, cool. All right, I'll take it. Because uh, the, other, the, the other ones are just... Oh, hang on. I didn't... Refresh. All right, actually, I'll put these two back, actually. These two back. And I keep both of these pips. Luck and Charisma. So, I gain Luck. And Charisma, I get a Charisma perk. Search. Um, there's one to get the... Um, the other one is just do a shop right now, but I don't have any money, so I'm just going to discard to remove a companion from another player's inventory or from the shop and add it to your inventory. Uh, then exhaust each of your companions. So I'm not going to use it just yet because there might be another companion that shows up later on. Because uh, I don't think that uh, load lifter is going to be very useful. 
um, in the long run. And what did I pick up? You Constantly. would also need ah. you'd also need five items to keep him being exhausted. Uh, if you're not vilified, keep this companion when it unexhausts. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> well, I have a companion. Exhaust a trade one with another survivor where anywhere on the map. Oh, well, that's mean it's not amazing, so... Whatever. I well, care. I don't know. You might want my combat armor in exchange for your day tripper or whatever. It can be like, hey, let's trade. But you have to agree to that. So like yeah. I can just bonk you and take what I want. Or can I? Yeah. You, you, like, I'm just saying, you could do it. It, it could be useful if, All right. if one of us... So that was my trade. second fight. Um, so that raider goes away. We put him in there. Now you make your intelligence 4 test again. Yep, I do indeed. Uh, so I only got one reroll of this. Okay, I will reroll. <laughs> How many are you rerolling? All three. Oh, that was so fucking close. Okay. Um, and that's me, I guess. Yay. But I leveled up a lot, so. <laughs> All right. Doc, what would you like to do? Okay. Um, I'm going to move. I want to explore here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. Oh my god, Pendleton State Prison. Okay, well, I mean, that's always fun. Uh, but we get a monster added. Yeah, the works. problem is I can't continue moving because it's all red. So I'm going to, I guess, move back guy. into Megaton. My last move. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm up in space. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I'm just wandering around Megaton. So, wait. Did you go first this round? Okay, so technically, you weren't supposed to do that. So, this guy moves. So, technically, he was in the middle of this before you explored it. Um, but we can flip this, yeah? Oh, no. You Let's assume that you did that on your next round, yeah? Sure. Okay. So he was there. I don't know what happens when you explore when the guy's there. I assume it just stays in the middle there. Uh, makes sense. I guess. Um, um, and yeah, now we swap turns. All right, my turn. Oh, I wonder what I will do. I think I am going to, hmm, I think I'm going to rest, two, three, and I'll grab this well-rested perk, uh, and then I'm going to fight around the world. Come on, Tiger. Okay, uh, loot and a gun. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so he does four damage to me and one radiation. Uh, I'm going to actually... Uh, he has a gun, so that's six. What? You don't have a gun. He does. So he does he one extra damage. One... Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to actually reroll this one because I got a strength I can reroll. All right. That's fine by me. So I take, take two damage. Four... Oh, four damage. I oh, know. I take. Is it one on top two. of the final damage, or is it like you take two from this, and it, it it automatically counts as one success on him attacking? Okay, so it's is this an extra hit, right? Okay. Uh, so, or is it like one extra damage? Oh wait, when this enemy activates, it can fight you from an adjacent space. If it does this, and you do not have a ranged weapon, add one to the dice. Well, he's okay, not so in an adjacent if, space. Yeah, so. that's that's what I'm saying. It's only okay. if he's in an adjacent space. So it doesn't it doesn't do anything because so one damage. Really, Oh no, two damage. Um, and I take a rad, I take an XP, and then I take two XP, kicking his ass, and I get a loot. Are you gonna like just go away on the alien spaceship and come back like really big with an eye patch? Sure, why the fuck not, man? 
Hey, dig, 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 dig. Uh, okay, during a fight with an enemy that has a gun, uh, this is one. Okay, so basically just removes that extra damage. Neato. Unless you're in melee, in which case it does still give you an armor. Sure. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. All right, and um, now I need to make this test. <laughs> Here we go. I got two rerolls. <sighs> hey, all right. We're done. We're done. I get three XP. So one, two, three. I level up. <laughs> Man, going to space was great. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I got some. I got some nice armor. You died. <laughs> Uh, okay, 107, 107 and 106. Stage 107 goes up. Yep. There and is. 106. And I will put six in. Okay. Uh, I like the idea that I, like, fucking I just point it straight down at the earth and just, like, let it crash. And I just walk out, like, brust it off my shoulders. Like, uh, having received information about the strange occurrences, the Brotherhood has sent one of their airships to the wasteland. Place a quest marker... On any space of the starting tile. This is the Brotherhood airship. At the end of each round, the airship moves w one space towards the highest level um, robot. robot. The map. We don't have any robots on the map. <laughs> that airship yeah. looks like it might have some fancy gear on board. Maybe you should borrow some. <laughs> Gain the T-60E power armor unique asset. Oh my god. I kind of want to do that. All right. <laughs> Just throw myself at an airship. Okay, so the quest marker starts at any uh, any space in the starting that's, tile. Yeah, that's crossroads camp. So I guess you pick which one it goes on, I guess. Uh, well, there's no robots, so it doesn't move, right? Yeah. So I guess there. No, there. We'll put it there. Fuck it. Um, loot the ship. It can only be worth it. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. But that's a five test. You can't even make that on the dice. Like, I mean, you could, I guess. That's a very, that's incredibly tough to do that. Say so C-A-L. Yeah, so you'd need to get two sixes and a four or five. A four or a five on the second dice. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I mean, dumber rolls have been made. That's, that's yeah, that's not impossible, but... All right. Uh, okay. So, place your figure on an empty space. All right. So I camped this round already. So that would be the end of my turn. I can't. I can't. I want to go here. <laughs> um, and this gets trapped. Oh, hold up. Um. So I only get. Okay. Uh. Trying to work out what would give me. Oh, dude. Okay. So you either get the armor or you get an asset. Okay. Um... And you get to kill any robots. So if robots are being a problem, I suppose that's nice. Oh, no. You have to kill a robot and then you can get an asset and set stage 108. Or you can raid the airship, get the armor, and set stage 109. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm kind of already allied to the opposite end of the spectrum, so, like, you know. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go... Here. Yeah, I'll go here. I think it has to, it has to be an empty space. I mean, they don't so you could go block me, though, the estate right? This, well, no, because it's not empty, there's somebody in it. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll go in. That's weird then. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. I'll go here then, I guess. Yeah. So I basically crash a fucking alien ship into the ground. Yeah, I mean, canonically, it should have been like here. Because okay. that's where the spaceship crashed. Look, I don't give a fuck. All right, I'm, I piloted that ship wherever I wanted it, okay? Okay, all right. Then. I mean, you call it piloting. Let's let's call it. Let's what call it, it what really, it, it, what right, it really is. You turned off the engine. 
and you just and I it. pointed it down. <laughs> yeah. It's not turning off the engine if I punch it a bunch, is it? I mean, technically, it turns off. Yeah. <laughs> I I wrenched it good. Um, okay, I'm doing a wrench only run. Um, hope you guys like it. Okay, uh, I'm ready. Your turn. Uh, no, because I already had mine remember because it would, should have started oh already. yes that's right yep okay so, so then now, uh, bad guys go yep we'll give you that bad guys take a turn uh starman activate uh star i guess it would go here yeah because it's closest yep. to you yeah and that's it oh, no. oh, and and the yagwai yagwai uh it can't go in an occupied space can it so it can't go into there I, I believe so, yes. That's why I went this way. Cause it's, it's still two either way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And it goes towards the the basic of the mall. Actually, it'd be going towards you, wouldn't it? Because you're closest. Well, that, yeah, that's why I asked if you're not putting it in there because of this one. Um, I, I, I assumed it was they can't go into a, a space because it's got something else in it. Yeah, that's what I assumed too. Because uh, you can't walk into a space. Yeah, anyway. I'm cool with that decision. If we want to set that as a precedent, then that's fine by me. Yeah, I mean, we, we've done it like that up until now. That there's, that It's never happened before. You can't occupy a space with more than one creature. Yeah. All right, uh, your turn, buddy. Buddy? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Mm, no man. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reveal my loyalty. To Oh, hey, welcome. <laughs> so hey, what's up? you don't get anything... So that's fine because I fucked up the last one, but we fixed that. So, yep. yeah. Um, cool. All right. Um, and now uh, I'm going to spend both my actions. Can't. Here. Can't. Oh, both your actions. So one, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, all right, then. My turn. Hey, it's like you knew what I wanted to do. One, two, one action, and then I talk to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, report. So I need P and I. For intelligence and a four. Right. It's interesting that if you weren't allied with them, they would still just fucking attack you <laughs> before you give them the report. Okay, I'm going to keep that two. I'll re-roll with my intelligence. Hey, that'll do it. Jam it. Uh, okay, so plus project priority. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, so they go up one, and then we get another shield spawns in. Yep. Uh, okay, and 3 XP, and yeah. stage 105 and 094. Uh, uh, so 51 and 94. 51. So I get 3 XP, so 1, 2, 3. Nice. One uh, ninety-four. There we go. So this now is trashed. Wait, was it both of them get added? Yes. Yep. Okay, so give me liberty. The Brotherhood of Steel is working on a secret weapon to take on the Enclave. Meanwhile, the Enclave continues to build up its forces at what used to be the Jefferson Memorial. Pay off some local criminals to sabotage the Brotherhood's project. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Uh, the Brotherhood is recovering equipment from the old robo-junkyard. Bring them some more supplies. Um, okay, well, fuck those guys. Uh, it appears that we're on the same side. So we should... So do we, we have win? been from the start. It's just you were obvious about it. Yeah. Do we do we win if they win? Is that how this works? No. No. If they win, we lose. <laughs> if they if they reach the maximum like if they reach this final square on the thing, they take over the wasteland and mm -hmm. kill us all. All right. So Children of the Atom. The missionary stands in the street preaching a new religion called the Children of the Atom. Many followers gather at Hoffman Farm, inviting all to embrace the Atom's glow. Bring a new recruit for their favor. Hoffman Farm, the Scarter Companion. 
<laughs> the word of Adam calls to you. Embrace the glow. Irradiated space. E3. Suffer two radiation. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're really good. <sighs> They're really good. All right. Um, I do believe it is your turn, sir. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. No. Bad guys act. No, yeah, I went first this turn, so... Right. No, no, that's right, yeah, you went first, yes. Yep, so it's your turn. Uh, right, well... No, 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 wait, did you move... No, that was last turn you moved and did your thing... And... Yeah, I moved, then... Yeah, so take your turn, yeah. You're not fighting a lot of things anymore now that you got all the sweet armor. <laughs> uh... So I'm going to move for one, two. Oh, hello, irradiated space. Mm. Mm. Delicious, but I'm at full health, so I'm just going to bask in the glow. I'll uh, let it embrace me. All right, so you need, need a three. Hit. Yep. I just need to hit a three. I don't have endurance, and I'm not rested, but I just need to hit a three. <laughs> or, or I can get a one. That's, that's, yeah. that's good. Too. Okay. Um... Where's Hoffman Farm? That's like over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was like back at the start. So, one, two, three, four. Hmm. That's going to be quite a ways. Or I could get irradiated and fucking live the life. Um. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's just check it out, man. Well, hey, buddy. You're <laughs> just like following me around, huh? I can't help it if a smooth skin is following me around by going forward in front of me. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, hang on. Did you just call the ghoul a smooth skin? You fucking, you, you look, hair lip motherfucker. Look, man, I, look, man, my skin is a, is a constant, uh, issue for me. Okay. Uh, all right. So I need to roll a three and i've got two rolls. sometimes i forget how sensitive super mutants are about their looks all right i fucking crushed it get fucked nerd uh so i take a thingy my boob why don't you tighten the bolts on your shoulder then I'll the shit look man don't fucking come at me because i'll come at you <laughs> i'll fucking flog you to the ends of the earth okay so technically speaking us having them go ahead even further is good for us right um because i mean no well, not no, really. at the end of the game, we count, right? We count, like, the total. So this is one plus how many spaces ahead it is. So one, two, three. So technically, this card is worth, for both of us, four points. We only need to get to ten. So if you can somehow manage to get to ten, then... Yeah, but if they, if they advance two more times, we lose. Mm. All right, well, uh, I'm on my way. To being okay with this so what i gain two radiation um which gives me two experience points as well one two um and uh we bring out stage 96 and we describe this uh, stage 96 yep this is kind of cool i i actually i actually really enjoy this <laughs> surprisingly like um it's actually an interesting uh stage 96 there you go join us you see the light of the atom's glow the only salvation for this forsaken wasteland is to spread the light to non-believers convince everyone to bend together under atom's glow irradiated space more than half of all survivors must also be on a radiated space. Each survivor on a radiated space gains one uh, thing in bob. Or stop the cult before it gets completely out of hand. You have to be at the Hoffman farm, draw and fight a raider at plus one level, and you gain a thing in bob. Man, I think what we should do is just embrace. You know what I'm saying? We should just all embrace. Uh, as it is your turn. To embrace the light of the glow, you should do it. Uh, bad guys act first. They do now, right? No, it's your turn. It's your turn. I went first, so. Yeah. Uh, well, you gave me the first player marker. When you move that, that's I'm yeah thinking that's end of turn. So it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. Okay. So each survivor on an irradiated space gains. I'm doing that. You know I'm doing that. All right then. 
and set stage 97. Yeah, man. I mean, this makes sense. A super mutant and a ghoul are like, hey, these guys like radiation. <laughs> uh, I'm down with that. <laughs> right, Come on. There we go. There we go. The Church of the Children of Adam has grown to a huge size thanks to the, <laughs> our heroes. The confessor at its head leads his flock from one of the most opportunant states still left in the wasteland. Uh, at the end of the round, each survivor rolls one VAT die for each companion he or she has. For each thing suffer one radiation. Bring a new devout to the confessor. Uh, Pedalton estate. At the end of the round... Wait. So, at the end of this round? Uh, uh, at the end of the round, yeah. So when we, I guess we do it before we do the bad guys or something. So like at the end of the round, mm -hmm. each survivor rolls one vat, stipe each companion he or she has. Oh, because the companions ha are radiated as well, right? That makes yep. perfect fucking sense. Okay. Not that, it, not that it matters. I mean, it kind of matters to me a little bit, but not so much to you. So. I won. Uh, wait, you got to ten. I got to twelve. I got three of the same one. Each one's worth four. God damn it. <laughs> I was close. I had nine points. Yeah, I had two of them, and I was like, fuck, these are getting worth I so much. I kept getting much. all the freedom points. And look, even, like, there's a plus two on the bottom of this one as well. So, it's actually, that card is worth two, and then you get an extra one for each point ahead that it is. So Okay, so I actually, I actually hit 13. That's, yeah. Oh man! Holy this is, I was I was trying as hard as I could. I was like, I just I've got, I've got so many points in my hand. I just, I, I swear, if I just get one more thing, it's got to be enough. It has yeah, to I be kept enough. getting I kept getting all these ones, <laughs> which is like annoying, because I like the first card that I got was this one, right? That's the very first card that I got. I'm just like, yeah, boy. yeah. So did I. I I I saw you play yours, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to hold mine just in case I get something like maybe I could end up being the brotherhood or I could get something else. I'm not going to play it yet. Yeah. So technically if I swapped sides, right, I could have discarded this one, put this one out and be like, what up? Let's yeah. Go. And then you could have, you, yeah. you would have been then actively advancing the brotherhood, which would have reduced the points I would have gotten and I wouldn't have been able to win. You know what? The more you like this game kind of like expands, bands the more you play it like it was weird how that worked right you just sort of do the objectives and it just keeps giving you more and more objectives it's it's really well written the, the replayability is a little slim i will say i mean you'd have to like intentionally choose different things which i guess is like fallout if you always side with the same people you're going to get the same quests right, yeah. but you could play it again and this time be like, I'm going to be the survivor and I'm going to team up with the Brotherhood and we're going to go you know, do the really. thing. I mean, it's kind of interesting that this is a one player game as well. Like it's, it, it's specifically designed around like one person combat, um, which is kind of interesting. I love Solitaire style games sometimes, you know, uh, what's yeah, that? like the, the rules for solo play are so tiny, like when as quest requires you to be in the same space as another survivor, you just have to be in a town instead. Mm. And, uh, and if the victory the, point if is it requires, 11, so, yeah. Yeah, if, if, if it requires another survivor to make a test, they are assumed to have rolled a three. Mm. Uh, when resolving encounter cards, read them to yourself, obviously. <laughs> 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 uh, when the agenda deck is depleted, advance only the power token for the faction that currently has All right. this power. That's, I, that's I it. That's the entire. I kind of need to see what this T sixty power armor would have done. I kind of need to see it. Is this is this it or is that T forty? Yeah. You are treated as having an E, and it gives you three armor. Jesus Christ. Three armor is actually really good. Remember actually, that. Actually, no. This is it here. This is thing? this is it here. You're treated as having S, and it has three armor. Remember the steel charge? Anything with a strength of three or less, you could just crush up to five spaces, just run through and kill them all. Yeah, yeah. And then there's this shish kebab. During a fight, results always inf 
inflict hits on the enemy. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This game is great. I don't know if I would be happy owning it because, like, there's a lot of moving parts in this game for very little replayability, right? Like, um... Well, it, yes and no. Because, I mean, there's four different things, right? Four different base yeah. layouts. Yeah. But there's more as well. Like, you can kind of randomize the things. They're, they're releasing packs that'll just be, like, new cards. Yeah, I mean, it's, and, it could be as simple as cards, right? I mean, the same thing could yeah, be said... Yeah, that's all they would have to do, is but, reuse these tiles and release a pack of cards. It'd be like a booster pack that's an entire new quest. Mm-hmm. And and one of the th- one of the things that's kind of interesting as well, like um, they could very easily follow the suit with like what um, uh, Pathfinder Adventure Card Game does, which is to say, like they just release a pack of thirty cards, and it's like here's a new weapon, and here's a new bad guy, and here's a new location, and that's like it it's very little work for them to release that, but they release it for twenty bucks, and it adds an infinite amount of replayability to that because you're already stacking in all the other stuff that happens, so. Um, I don't know. I this mean, game like was we played, cool. We played yeah. this for what four hours? Uh, three and a half, by the looks of things. Th- three and a half. Yeah. About 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 maybe three hours because there was set up and shit. Okay. So, yeah. So we'd say three hours. The normal runtime is they say is about two hours for this game. So yeah, tw- tw- twenty bucks. That's like the cost of a movie. I I wouldn't be offended buying a a new an expansion. Yeah. For a two hour game. Yeah. Yeah, that's not so bad, I guess. Like, you know, um, I'd like to see more characters. Like, what do the other characters actually do? Like, oh, we deleted them, so we, we can't. Play. Yeah, there's like. Um... Hold up, I can just reload the game in again. Um, let me just do that. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. All right. So, what are what are the what does the Brotherhood operator get? He gets intelligence, and he starts with the power armor. Oh my god. <laughs> When you perform a move action, you gain one movement and point instead of two. Okay, you're just heavy and you get armor. During your turn, you may pay one cat to ignore this effect. Until... See, that actually would suck. I don't know if I'd, ex- I'd want that. That that seems really rough. Um, the vault suit. Uh, during a test that require endurance, generate run, we roll. Oh, that's actually really good. You may equip one additional peril item. Add their armor value. Add their ar- that's really fucking good. That's actually really good. Um, that's actually like probably one of the strongest ones. Though having not to worry about radiation and leveling up from it was an abuse that I well and truly took advantage of. And yeah, so did I. I mean, I the heal was nice, but I think the XP is the stronger. Yeah. Yeah, the XP is definitely stronger. Like it, like camping literally negated all the stuff that you did anyway. So. Um, yeah, so, um, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, the layouts of these areas are interesting as well. Um, so, I, I, I thought it was cool. I, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, surprised me. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know you could get this sort of, like, storytelling with a board game. Like what this it, is. They, it's, it's almost like a board game crossed with a choose your own adventure book. Yeah. I would say that's pretty close, actually. So... Um, and the, you know what, this actually, uh, random, my, this, uh, automated setup thing is actually really nice too. Whoever made this kudos. That yeah. was, uh... I like it because when I see scripted, I usually assume it's going to be scripted events and things. It's going to be like, you click here to take your turn and it'll roll the dice and move your thing. And it's, it's annoying. This is just like, it automates the setup and that's all it does. Yeah. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't too hard to figure stuff out. Um, very easy. The, some of the cards are a little like probably need reworking with the with a language on them. Like what was that one that we ran into that was weird yeah, language? Yeah, the, the enemy the the enemy of that faction moves, and it's like okay, so the enemy of the faction oh, would yeah. be the other guys, mm-hmm. right? But it's not. It's the enemy to us, mm-hmm. which is the faction who it is. It's it was really weirdly worded. Yeah. Uh, so you could just say the faction icon moves, right? It could it could just be as simple as that. But yeah, I I thought it was good. Um. I would rate this uh, 10 Pip Boys out of 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I give it, I give it uh, nine, nine duct tapes out of uh, an abandoned house. 
Nice. That's that's a that's an that's a huge score, dude. Oh my that's god. That's a that's a that's a good that's a good fucking RNG loot roll in those uh, file <laughs> cabinets. Anyways, guys, Ruined thank you very ass. much for watching. Where can people find your shit, Doc? If you're doing shit. Uh, my shit, my shit's all here now. That's that's what I do. We do this every week, and then we do a show with Shadowrun. That's sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Um, uh, we're up, uh, that's right we're in the middle of a uh a corporate attack which is going smashingly hey, really well all you need to do is just kill a guy so a, a bunch of guys apparently because yeah. that's that's what we're doing yeah anyways guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed tonight's session we'll be back in a couple of hours for the daily stream um and we're probably going to finish yakuza tomorrow kawami we're on the second last chapter to that so yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. We are Have a good one. Bye-bye.